the Queen of the Atlantic and Roman Catholic magic, one day after coming from the practice of dark art with a false pastor, I was back home, my neighbor was pregnant and a woman was doing her hair, on that day my mother called me and said, Bobby, I would like to talk to you, I noticed that my mother attitude was different for she was quiet and serious, when I sat in order to talk to her she told me, you are no longer the son I had known, you don't listen to me and you treat me as if I was your wife, for you ignore me completely. When my mother spoke these words I heard the queen of the ocean saying, Bobby, what is your mother trying to say? I replied to the queen of the Atlantic I don't know what she is trying to say, the queen told me let hear what she want to tell you, my mother said, my son, I am hearing that you are in occultism, and everything you do in this house is strange and suspicious, my mother told me, you got to understand that in our family we don't resort to occultism and if you are in occultism I can assure you that you will die, the Queen of the Atlantic Ocean said to me, Abby, I command you to smack your mother, immediately I invoke an ant, that enter people in the eyes, the ant came and enter my mother eyes, and she said Bibi help me, basically this ant make eyes feel chilly and this is what we call smack in occultism, the Ocean Queen told me, you must now spit alcohol on your mother eyes, then I turned my spit to alcohol and when I blew on the eyes of my mother her eyes became full of sand. Her situation was aggravated and she was in pain. The Ocean Queen told me now begin to laugh at your mother, I began to mock my mother and I said to her you should mind your business, you call me here to talk and accuse me of occultism. Then the lady that was doing the hair of my pregnant neighbor said, your mother want to talk to you but you have decided to attack her. Immediately the Ocean Queen asked me, why is this hairdresser intervening in a matter that does not concern her, she will pay, this is not her business, brother often in Africa when people are quarreling they are actually fighting about what happened in the night in the world of witches, therefore don't involve yourself in matter that you don't understand, the Ocean Queen told me, since this hairdresser and the pregnant woman your neighbor has intervened in this matter, we are going to take the baby that is in her womb, now call the angel Jorgen and ask him the formula so that we can remove the child from the womb of your neighbor, when the angel of Satan Jorgen appear, I told him we need to get the baby that is in the womb of my neighbor, firstly, the angel of Satan placed his hand above the head of the hairdresser, as a result a bird showed up above the head of the hairdresser, the angel of Satan told me I am transferring the sickness of epilepsy in the life of the hairdresser, for the bird that had appeared was the spirit of epilepsy, and in order to activate the sickness I was supposed to get the lady hairdresser to see water, I went on to take water in order to drink, as soon as the hairdresser saw water she fell on the ground in epilepsy, when she was falling to the ground she injured my pregnant neighbor, epilepsy is satanic. The victim hand will be moving like the wing of a bird and her tongue will be out and he will be spitting, for when a bird is dying his tongue is always out. The Ocean Queen and the Angel of Satan joined me as the lady was on the ground manifesting epilepsy, then I was joined by the false pastor and we took the hairdresser inside the house for prayer, while the pastor was praying for the epileptic lady he was using the name of Jesus, but with spiritual ears it was the name of the God of the Earth of the Satanic Kingdom. The Ocean Queen told me this prayer is a mascarade, what matter is that the blood of the pregnant woman was spilled, it is dangerous to have your blood spill, even in the saloon, finally the pregnant woman joined us in prayer, and while we were praying we were joined by the great ladies of the ocean that surrounded us, when the pregnant woman wiped her blood with a paper, I took that paper in my room and I placed it in the Book of Mormon, there are five pages in the Book of Mormon that have five spirit of transportation, whenever I capture human souls, it is thanks to these demon in the Book of Mormon that I could transport them to specific prison in the unseen world, while we were praying the angel of Satan asked me to invoke the princess Gabriel, and when the princess came, I asked her to enter inside the body of the pregnant woman and make her fall to the ground. Beloved some of the slaying in the spirit and falling in the church means nothing, it is just the meeting of two opposing power that cause people to lose consciousness for a second, people don't resist the shock that result from the meeting of the two power. When it was time to steal the baby from the womb of her mother, the Queen Micheline asked me to cut one of the five page of the Book of Mormon that had the demon transporter, 
Then we placed that page on the womb of the lady while the prayer was going on. As a result Jesus Christ of blue eyes appeared. Brother when you look at the book and resources of the Mormon church, they have illustration of a Jesus with open hand, that is called the Jesus Christ of blue eyes. He is the one who manifested when we were stealing the baby from the womb of this lady. When the baby was stolen there was blood on the page of the Book of Mormon. The lady was supposed to have miscarriage in the seventh month, so when the pregnancy reached six month, I was required to practically take the baby out of the womb, I did magic prayer, as a result the image of the baby in the womb was shown in the mirror, I saw that the baby was covered by a glittering matter, which was his star and his potentiality and his wealth, that God gave him, the glittering matter which was his star could have help his family, but this is precisely what the world of Satan is after, this is what caused the devil and his kingdom to reign, when I went on to decapitate the baby there was blood, and the mother had the pocket open, and the baby was dead, I was instructed to consume the head of the baby which I transformed to a chicken that my mother cook without knowing what she was cooking, next time I will have to talk about flowers because they are secret about them. Many flower attract demon at home and many home are decorated with flower for aesthetic, flower and drawing are dangerous, drawing can be enclosed like the drawing of Medusa, who is a marine spirit that I used to encounter underwater, Medusa is represented in the logo of Versace, in the marine kingdom when we talk to her we give her our back to avoid seeing her for she is terrible. I will talk about my encounter with Medusa in the submarine kingdom when I was pursued by the water kingdom, later I went to visit my companion the false pastor that was in the occult, he was struck down by the hierarchy was taken to the hospital, we went to see him in the hospital in order to check his condition, it was when her sister saw me that she was angry, actually she is a catholic acolyte, and when you become a catholic acolyte you get exposed catholic magic. The pastor sister the Catholic acolyte told me, you must be responsible for what is happening to the pastor, I heard people saying you are a Satanist and you are strong, alright, we shall see what you can do about the Archangel Saint Michael and the Archangel Saint Luke. Do you really think you can defeat the Archangel Saint Peter and the Archangel Saint Paul, you shall be defeated, the acolyte was challenging me, quickly the Ocean Queen Micheline came down with the Goddess Elizabeth. They did fusion and they became one in order to increase their power. At that moment the Princess Gabriel came with many great ladies of the sea who surrounded the place. This has turned to a conflict between the Roman Catholic magic and the submarine kingdom of the Atlantic Ocean. The doctor in this hospital was a witness of spiritual battle between two different power of Satan that they had to monitor so that innocent will not die. When demon come to kill target in the hospital when they fail they cause sabotage killing innocent, pray when you are about to be hospitalized for it's a place of demon activity, when the catholic acolyte was challenging me asking me, are you going to win against the archangel saint michael saint gabriel, I responded to her, are you going to win against the ocean queen micheline, are you gonna win against the goddess elizabeth and the princess gabriel. Bear in mind that the Archangel Saint Michael and the Archangel Saint Luke are not the angels of God, they are false angels that dwell in the Vatican where hidden part of the Bible are kept. These angel of the Catholic Church are a group of fallen angels that join the revolution and insurrection that was led by Lucifer in the upper heaven. When they were banished from the celestial world, Lucifer went on to form what is called the Nine Heart of Angels, and these fallen angels bear the name of the angels of God and biblical characters, actually when a Catholic believer is about to die, the priest will send acolyte to pray to the Archangel Saint Michael to come down, and thanks to these prayer the Archangel Saint Michael will come with his sword and will cut the link between the spirit and the body, this will precipitate the death of the Catholic believer, whose spirit will be placed in prison, and will be liberated when he is to enter the abode of the deads. The Archangel Saint Michael also come when the acolyte face opposition in prayer against opposing spirit, they also call the Angel Saint Peter and the Angel Saint Luke to fight for them. The Lady Acolyte was praying and calling the Archangel Saint Michael. He challenged me and said I will show you, who do you think you are, I replied to her I am not afraid of you, I saw the lady who began to burn incense, immediately the Goddess Elizabeth told me, alright. 
Since they are burning incense we must act now, we will spray the perfume itcher in order to prevent the arrival of their archangels, such as Saint Luke and Saint Peter and Saint Anne. The place was filled with the smoke of incense of the Catholic believer and the aroma of Itcha of the Queen of Ocean. The Lady Acolyte told me, what are you doing with these perfume, today you will be defeated. Then she began to do the libation of the blessed water, when this Catholic lady began to pour the blessed water around, suddenly the Queen of the Atlantic Ocean Micheline told me, Abby, the blessed water is powerful and we cannot stand against it. There is nothing we can do about it for we cannot bear it, I have to leave you for fear of being paralyzed, the Ocean Queen was about to leave me alone against this Catholic acolyte, I said to her, you cannot leave like that you got to do something, Micheline said, alright, quickly Micheline double herself, and a copy of her enter the body of a Catholic believer that was there with this acolyte around the hospital, then the Ocean Queen left me. While the Catholic acolytes continued to do the pouring of the blessed water, the Ocean Queen that had entered inside the body of a Catholic believer shot the Lady Catholic acolyte on the shoulder, at that moment I saw a huge fish horn penetrating the shoulder of the Lady acolyte, and she fell in agony on the ground, since I was alone against the Catholic acolyte, I was joined by the Angel of War of Satan, called Heavy, this cherubim of Satan called Heavy is massive and robust with bicep, when he came he entered my body, and he said to the lady acolyte that was in pain, you have not seen anything yet, you will see, at that moment I saw this acolyte the ground and she was invoking the archangel Saint Michael of the nine heart of angels, when the cherubim of Satan the angel of war heard the Catholic acolyte invoking the nine heart of angels, he told me, Abby, we will be overpowered by this Catholic lady, look at the angels that are behind her, they have arrived and they are powerful, there is nothing we can do, the best way will be to brutalize her physically, for spiritually we cannot do anything because of the angels that have arrived, when I look around the lady I saw a powerful being of light and they were shining. These were the archangels of the nine hearts of angels, those were at front line of war in heaven. These angels are also the angels of Jewish mysticism the Kabbalah, they also work in the Catholic religion. You must understand they are the angels that intervene in all the false religion of the world, like Rosicrucian, Freemanson and others. These angels of the Catholic were shining and strong behind the Lady Acolyte. The angel of war who came to help me told me, Abby, we are powerless against them, you got to act physically against the woman. Immediately I called the demon Johnny Walker, who is the discipline leader of the world of Satan. He showed up with his whip and began to whip people that were there, and there was disorder and chaos around this hospital, then a hospital worker came to separate us, I was inhabited by the demon Johnny Walker and I was walking like him, in that shamble I managed to steal two books of the Catholic acolyte for they were stronger than the submarine world of the Atlantic Ocean, as I was leaving the hospital, the Catholic lady told me, Abby, you wait I will show you, you have seen anything yet. However when we were leaving the hospital, Johnny Walker whipped one of the Catholic believer who fell to the ground, I said to myself, I have to show this Catholic acolyte that she cannot challenge me. I went home and when I was resting, when I stood up I saw a group of young lady going to the funeral they were joined by another lady that was pregnant, when this lady was leaving her place I saw her mother who told her, you are pregnant you cannot go to the funeral. The pregnant lady was insisting to go to the funeral and she started to argue with her mother, but the mother said, it is dangerous to go to the funeral when you are pregnant, don't you know that evil people can remove your pregnancy and replace it with something else. When the mother spoke those words the ocean queen who was under the ocean told me, Abby, did you hear what the mother have said, it's not us, it's her own words, brother, I want to warn you beloved to be careful with what you say for unclean spirit move around collecting people word in order to bring them to pass, I always say that for the devil to destroy a man there must be breach and infringement, funeral is a dangerous place where we seek body to inhabit, we also collect people word and we seek to know all secret of the family, they are demon that attend funeral, we made sure to hear the talk between family leader, in this funeral the corpse was sweating because we have placed his soul in a pan that was on the cauldron. I saw a red line appearing above the coffin, all the goddess, prince and queen of the sea came for we were supposed to devour the flesh of this deceased person, 
When it was midnight in the funeral, I saw the uncle of a deceased person holding a calabash, he said to assistants, whoever is responsible for the death of our son will die he will pay, Michelin told me, you got to leave the funeral for the pastor condition has deteriorated in the hospital, I tried to sleep on the chair, and then I left my body, finally I landed in the hospital, I was there in the shape of a rat, I saw the doctor attending the pastor whose condition was bad, I saw on the back of the doctor that was dealing with the pastor the sign of the cross and three point, I called the angel of Satan Jorgen, I asked him what is the sign of the cross and the three point on the back of the doctor, he told me this is the sign of Rosicrucian and he is a member of that sect, I asked Jorgen what is the password in order to communicate with Rosicrucian member, Jorgen gave me the password, immediately I entered in contact with the doctor, who asked me where are you? I said on the ground by your side in the shape of a rat, and I can see you, the doctor asked me what do you want, I said I need to transmit the pastor the light so that he can recover for I have a mission to carry out with him, the doctor asked me to transmit the pastor the light, I said in this shape of a rat it is not easy, the doctor told me, I will leave my body and you will replace me in my body, the doctor left his body and I enter in his body replacing him and I transmitted the pastor the light and I made him seat, he told me, Abby, I want to give up this practice I cannot continue, I said you must recover for you have the obligation of fulfilling the obligation of offering 100 souls, you cannot abandon, I summoned my too late friend and we transmitted the pastor more light and he recovered completely, when I had finished I came out of the doctor body and he returned inside his body, and I flew back to my body in the funeral. The next day I went physically to the hospital to get the pastor out, since there was no money to pay in the hospital we summoned the demon of time, called Agriyaga, and he came with the angel of theft, they went to steal money for us in the market, and we pay in the hospital to get the pastor out. Given that the pastor was required to offer 100 souls, he told them where we'll find them, later he asked me for help. We all know the story of the church building that collapsed and killed a member in the borough of Wuking. The collapse of the church building was a human sacrifice perpetrated by this pastor. Initially we thought about buying people by giving them money, but the pastor decided to organize an evangelical crusade on Sunday in the church. There was a crowd and the rain was strong on that day. I believe the Lord was trying to stop people to come through the rain, for on the first day there was a strong rain and people did not come, the second day there was also rain but people came, I asked the pastor to call the cherubim of Satan called heavy, who will be posted around the church wall, the cherubim was supposed to crash the wall of the church on the people that will come to attend the crusade, there was a crowd that came to church, we made sure that they sat around the wall of the church where the cherubim of Satan was posted, this cherubim called heavy is the angel of Satan that is like the archangel Michael, he has the body of a bodybuilder and he is strong, we summoned him in the office of the pastor, when he appeared he asked us what can I do for you, I said we want you to bring down the wall of the church during the service, push that wall on the crowds for we need many deads, he said to us, when people died, since you need a hundred souls, the remaining souls will be mine, during the service the pastor require people to move to the right where the angel of Satan was, when people moved to that side, he did prayer and the wall fell to the people, 120 people died in the church on that day, those who have received shock in the hand and feet should not have died, but I saw the angel of Satan strangling them in that moment, I heard a voice saying be praise the God of the land for the sacrifice, the next day the police arrested the pastor, I was summoned to attend the temple on that day, there was a complaint that despite the death of 120 people some of the victim was nowhere to be found, actually those who were serious with God their soul went to heaven, we only had access to their body, later on, I met the lady acolyte, when she saw me she began to insult me because the injury on her leg, when I look at her leg I could the see the bone was out, but with physical eyes the flesh was there. I said to her it seems that your leg will be amputated, she got angry and she threw a steel bar to me, and she said you think you are strong, you will see what I will do to you, immediately the goddess Elizabeth showed up between me and her, Elizabeth was holding a whip for she wanted to whip the lady acolyte, 
I saw this acolyte getting the blessed water out of her bag and she threw it towards the gods Elizabeth, and I saw Elizabeth shouting in pain when the blessed water reached her, and she disappeared, I tried to invoke Elizabeth but she was not coming. The lady acolyte told me, did you see what I did with the goddess of water, she will not come back again she is gone forever, I have neutralized her already, I said you are lying and we will see, I summoned the discipline master Johnny Walker, when he came with his whip, I asked him his whip, and I whipped the lady acolyte, and she fell to the ground, this was a spiritual whip, people thought all this was joke because they could not see the spiritual reality, when I left the lady acolyte on the ground in pain, I was leaving the hospital and I met her friend, who was also a Catholic acolyte, she said to me, you are stubborn, what are you doing here, you don't listen, immediately she pulled out the blessed water and two little bottles, I saw her doing libation and ritual, and she spoke to people that I could not see, I have captured you all, when she had closed the bottle I saw the princess Gabriel inside the bottle, I wonder how come the princess Gabriel was here but I did not know, and when the lady acolyte closed the other bottle I saw the goddess Elizabeth inside the bottle and I was stunned to see that the lady acolyte had managed to capture these powerful ladies of the Atlantic Ocean in the bottles, I said to her you gonna give me these bottles now, she told me, I have captured them and I am going home with them, then she went away, when I got home I was feeling dizzy and fear, I said this Catholic acolyte sleep in the convent, how will I enter there in order to get the two bottles, Finally I decided to turn to a rat and enter the convent where they sleep, when I flew to the convent I turned to a rat, I was moving in the ceiling and I saw the acolyte walking, as she was moving when she got below me she lifted her eyes and said, I can see you baby, you have turned to a rat but I can see you, rest assured I will catch you, now get back where you come from, when I saw that I was outplayed by the lady acolyte, I said to her, please, Give me these bottle where you have captured the princess and the goddess, and I will remove the injury that we placed on the leg of your friend, when I humbled myself she told me, alright, come tomorrow so that we can talk, I was in the shape of a rat when I was talking to the catholic acolyte, when I got back home I was wondering whether she was planning to capture me, I was then summoned in the temple where they increased my power, an elder told me, when you go there to meet her, Make sure that these Catholic acolytes don't have the blessed water in their hand, and make sure that they don't have rosary in their hand. The following day I went to meet these Catholic acolyte. When I entered the compound I saw the lady acolyte with the blessed water in the hand. Immediately I began to step back slowly. She said why are you stepping back? I replied why are you holding the blessed water? She told me, I know about every instruction they gave you and I can see that they have increased your power, but you are a child you are nothing, then we took seat, I saw that she began recite prayer with the rosary, I was uncomfortable and frightened, and I said, you don't need to use the rosary let talk in peace, she said don't worry we are waiting for my friend, when her friend the acolyte had arrived, I saw that the mystical injury was rotting and she was crying, when she saw me she got angry and began to shout at me, his friend said we are here so that he will remove the injury he place on your leg and then we will liberate these water spirit that are in the bottle, but she said we are not liberating these mermaids, I prefer to die with this injury instead of liberating them, I saw Elizabeth and Gabriel inside these bottles they were really quiet and they were just looking at me, but there was no communication between and them, then they gave us the two bottles containing the mermaids, and I laid my hand on the injury to heal it, when we were about to leave, my late friend who came with me opened the bottle where Elizabeth was captured, and when this goddess came out of the bottle, I saw her launching an arrow against the friend of the acolyte, I saw the arrow that had entered her leg and she fell to the ground, quickly we ran away, later I was told to ambush the pastor that had joined our mystical order for he had overstepped the rules, I was not okay with that, they told me to comply for I was about to be elevated, I went to the pastor in order to ambush him, it was prayer time, Elizabeth entered the body of a lady intercessor and she transmitted her natural perfume to the intercessor, and she become seductive, when the pastor saw this intercessor she fell for her they agreed to have sex in the office, we were out of the office but we were seeing everything when they had sex, Elizabeth told me, 
You're gonna tell all the intercessor that the pastor want them to join him in the office. When they all came in the office they saw the pastor having sex with the intercessor. This was a punishment of the hierarchy. I was instructed by the hierarchy to offer my sister as human sacrifice. I was heading back home when the goddess Elizabeth and the great ladies of the sea told me, we have chosen your sister for we want her to serve with us when she die. On that day when I got home I saw strangers in a compound. My sister told me, mother has called this pastor with his intercessor to pray for the house. I said to my sister, we have no problem in this house and we don't need these intercessors and their pastor here. My sister told me, mummy keeps saying there is something wrong with our house. Quickly I rushed to my room where I had set up my temple. I saw that the mystical book and the configuration of the altar was fine. When I came out of my room, I saw the pastor standing around the TV where I had placed a demonic flower. When there was eyes contact between me and the pastor, he asked me, Abby, are you alright? I said I am fine. Immediately the angel of Satan Jorgen landed between us, and he told me, Abby, you got to be very careful with this pastor for he is very strong, are you not feeling his power? Jorgen told me, I just wanted to tell to be prudent and careful. Then the pastor asked me are you gonna join us in prayer tonight? I said to the pastor, I'm not a member of your church and I am not really interested. The pastor told me we are starting the prayer now up to midnight. But tomorrow we are here for night vigil prayer. Immediately the angel of Satan Jorgen told me, this pastor is powerful, make no mistake, you got to go to the temple for empowerment, this pastor is dangerous and strong. Later on, when the pastor took seat with the intercessor in order to begin their prayer, I said to my mother, you invited this pastor with his people for prayer, make sure that they don't touch my things in my room, somehow. The pastor knew that I was in contact with Jorgen the angel of Satan, and he told me, how come you are talking to us and you also talking to spiritual entity, I said to the pastor, please, mind you business and stay away from my stuff and my life, when prayer was about to begin, I saw my mother making coffee for the intercessor, and while she was making coffee, I saw the angel of Satan Jorgen peeing in the coffee that my mother was making, he told me I am doing this in order to weaken these intercessors, for there will be war here, I am also preparing these waters spirit to support you in this conflict. At that moment the pastor that was resting and sleeping woke up, and he gathered the intercessor and told them, you are not drinking this coffee. My mother said to the pastor, I already prepared the bread, yet you are telling the intercessor not to drink my coffee. The pastor told my mother, the coffee is messed up. It's not good anymore, don't drink it. My mother took the coffee and drank it to tell the pastor that it was fine. The pastor said to my mother you have drank the coffee that is messed up. My mother asked the pastor, who messed up the coffee. The pastor replied to my mother, your son told me to stay away from his business. I then said to the pastor, please just mind your own business. I also took the coffee and drank it to give the impression that everything was fine. Immediately I got the call of the goddess Elizabeth who instructed me to call my friends to join me, for there will be confrontation in this place very soon. Quickly I called my friend who joined. In order to summon my friend I went to the toilet. I think I already warn you about the toilet, for witches tend to go to the toilet when they enter people houses for the first time. They will do magic prayer in order to open a portal that would allow them to be coming to operate. They may also set up antenna and camera in your house to spy your family, in order to block your aspiration. After summoning my two friend in the toilet, I called the angel of Satan and I asked him to send me perfume, which I was supposed to burn in order to cause sleep and heaviness among the intercessor during prayer, for they have managed to unmask and foil the coffee that was bewitched. When this angel of Satan sent me the perfume itcher, I lit up cauldron outside the compound in order to burn the perfume. My mother asked why are you lighting fire in this time of the night. I said to my mother I am just burning some stuff no big deal. Actually my mother was already dominated, for whenever I spoke she comply. On that day my mother had invited all the neighbor to come and join the prayer. 
and they promised my mother to join the prayer. I was with my friend outside the compound burning the perfume in order to cause sleep in this prayer. As we were burning the perfume and doing prayer, suddenly we saw a massive white eagle that was resplendent above the compound, where the intercessor were about to pray. We beheld this huge white eagle that had stretched out his massive wings. My friend told me, this mysterious eagle is beaming light, where does he come from? I said this manifestation must be related to these intercessor and the pastor, let continue to burn the perfume, and after we had finished, we went before the houses of people that were invited to attend the intercessor prayer, we stretched our hand towards these doors and we removed them mystically, I mean we changed them with doors of people that were not invited, and when my mother came to knock on these doors, she was actually knocking on door of people that were not invited, and those who were invited could not hear her knock and they oversleep, for their door were displaced, and when the prayer began my mother, my brother and sister began to slumber, as the prayer went on. The pastor noticed that people were sleeping and he was trying to keep people awake, many of these people were reached by the aroma of bewitchment, at a certain point the pastor said you all came here for prayer, but you are sleeping instead of praying, my mother said to the pastor, I was so busy selling throughout the day, I'm really tired, my brother said, tomorrow I will be in sport training I must rest, but the pastor proceeded with prayer and worship, as soon as this prayer intensified, the angel of Satan told me we are going to lose communication and contact with you, this angel of Satan told me there is a white cloud above the compound covering the area, the angel Jorgen told me, this pillar of cloud is precisely where you saw the huge and shining eagle with stretch wings, the situation is such that we are forced to step back outside the compound, for the whole place is shaking as a result of their prayer, and we are losing communication you, immediately I heard the pastor telling the intercessor, now we are going to ask God to send his angels to take over this area, we are going to take control of this compound in the name of the Lord. As soon as the pastor asked the intercessor to control the area, I heard the angel of Satan Jorgen telling me, they have come. The angels of God have come down in great number and they are here, they have taken over the compound. It was incredible to hear that the place was invaded by the angel of God when the intercessor were about they call them. At that moment I tried to contact the marine kingdom but the connection was cut. I tried to contact our temple but there was no connection. I tried to summon demon to enter my body but there was no response, while the intercessor began to pray the ground was shaking and there was a strong wind, it was strong that we could not stand we were unstable because of the tremor, my leaders knew that I was in a dangerous situation, they sent a wind that came with a message telling us to move away from the group of intercessor, we rose up and pushed the pastor telling him we are going to pray in the corner of the compound. While we were talking to the pastor the intercessor opened their eyes to watch and they lost concentration. As a result the tremor and shaking of the ground ceased. I knelt down in the corner of the compound with my friend and we formed a triangle like a star. We were praying in demonic tongue. I then heard the pastor telling the intercessor, now we are going to call the fire of God to descend in this place. Quickly they began to pray in unknown language calling the fire of God and we also continued to pray and we got a message from the temple telling us to draw a line between us and the intercessors, my friend stood up in order to draw a line on the ground, but when he made a step he fell to the ground, another friend of mine took water and began to pray to the archangel Saint Michael of the Roman Catholic magic, in order to turn it to the blessed water, at that moment the goddess Micheline appeared, when the ocean queen showed up she told me, don't try to come out of the compound for the place is surrounded, if you dare to come out you will die, just choose the blessed water to draw a line on the ground to mark a separation with the intercessor, then she disappeared, we took the blessed water and drew the line on the ground, as a result I saw that we landed in the submarine world of the Atlantic Ocean, while we were in the kingdom of Michelin underwater we were hearing the pastor leading prayer and asking the intercessor to invoke the fire of God, as the intercessor were praying and calling fire, we saw flames of fire descending from heaven and hitting the place, and I saw wave rising from the ocean as a result of bowls of fire, the oceanic wave were breathtaking, as fire was causing waves in the ocean, we heard the voice of element of natures in the submarine world, 
telling us no need for fear, you are protected and secured. Afterwards, we notice silence among the intercessor, for God was speaking to them. The Lord told them, the young man Bibi is required to offer her young sister Rachel in human sacrifice by the enemy, you gonna pray for Rachel for her life is in danger. I heard my mother asking the pastor, who want to kill Rachel? The pastor said your son Bibi is an occultist and he want to sacrifice your daughter Rachel. When the intercessor were about to pray for my sister, I rose out of the marine world and I landed to the surface in anger and violence. I grabbed the pastor and scratch him on the face and he was injured, and we caused disorder in the prayer that was stop because of the altercation. It was actually the cherubim of Satan called Heavy that had injured the pastor for he was in me. This angel of war had entered in me and scratched the pastor who was injured. The pastor who was bleeding asked me, Abby, are you testing me? I said to the pastor, we had agreed that you will stay away from my business. The pastor called my mother and said, you're gonna remove all the items in the room of your son Bibi, it is an altar, and I will burn everything in his room if you really want deliverance. When I heard the pastor talking this way, I said to the pastor, what are you saying? Is this house yours? How dare you give orders here? The pastor said to my mother unless you remove all these items in Bibi room your daughter Rachel will die. At that moment Elizabeth told me, even the pastor know that Rachel is the one to die, you got to agree to her death as the time of your elevation has come. At that time I heard the bell ringing three times to indicate the arrival of the God of Tzu of the land. When the God of the land came, he told me, do you remember what is on your right hand? I said yes I remember you told me that my right hand is that of an animal, and I would be like an animal without mercy and compassion, there is your seal on my left hand for I am your servant. The God of the land told me, since you remember my instruction, I order you to offer your sister as a sacrifice. When the God of the earth spoke I felt wickedness rising in my heart. I told the pastor, if you touch my things in my room there will be trouble here. My mother told the pastor, please you can pray but let's not touch anything that belong to him. The pastor told my mother, the only way to save your daughter is to destroy his altar for all these items is a setting for the spirit world, and when this pastor observed our compound he exclaimed and told my mother, you are in trouble, I can see that your compound is not only on the surface of the earth but also underwater, though you live on the earth you also live underwater, my mother told the pastor, whenever I sleep, I see strange crocodile and hippopotamus and incredible beast nowhere to be found on the earth. I often dream huge anaconda, I also dream of dwarves people, the pastor said it's because your house is underwater, and I can even see dwarves demon on the corner of your compound, my mother said I cannot see them now but I dream mythological beast, in the morning the pastor and the intercessor left our place without compromise about the issue of burning items that were in my room, on that day I sent my sister a demon in her lower abdomen. I saw the demon moving in her system touching every one of her internal organ without hurting her, for I did not authorize him to hurt her, Elizabeth told me, in order to get your sister you can proceed through her hair, nail or blood, we got to find a mechanism, just try to get her nail, later on, I was resting at home, my mother was cooking and Rachel was seating there with the pastor, I saw Rachel calling nail painting boy who put nail polisher on woman nail, when my sister called this boy, the pastor told the nail painting boy, you are not gonna paint the lady you can go, and he told Rachel, you are not going to paint your nail, the pastor said to Rachel everything I am doing is for your good, I am here to save you, and as long as I am here I will stop evil from happening to you, your brother here is problematic, he want to kill you but I will not let that happen, when the pastor spoke that way, I stood up and said to the pastor, why do you keep coming here? Is it because you got money yesterday and today you want more? On that day I insulted the pastor and told him you are after offering and you are talking rubbish. If you continue like that I will show you. Quickly I got in the house and I put world music. Since the pastor could not bear secular music he left. I called the goddess Elizabeth and I told her, please find me one of the boy who paint woman nail in the street and send him here. She told I am sending you one of them that I found in the street. These boy who pain woman nail can be agent of demon, 
When the boy was coming I saw that he had a black spot on the forehead, I said to Jorgen, I never saw someone with this black spot before. Do you know what it means? He replied to me the black spot means he is a witch, I said can you give me his image in the mirror? When Jorgen made him appear in the mirror he told me the boy was initiated by his grandfather in witchcraft. When the boy began to paint the nail of Rachel, I saw Rachel collecting her nail in a paper, then I asked Elizabeth to find a way to get one Rachel nail, quickly she sent to three ants that came to pick one nail, she told me that these ants were demon, she said I will give the password so that you can communicate with them and direct them, thank to the password I was able to command them through whistling, when these ants were moving the nail away, I asked one of my spirit of the water to turn to a rat and get that nail, and this marine spirit turned to a rat and was able to get Rachel nail from these ant that were demon. When the boy was about to paint my sister with nail polisher, Elizabeth said to me instruct the boy to use rose color, it will make it easy for us. While the boy was painting Rachel was injured accidentally, quickly I rushed to wipe my sister blood with a paper, and I took the dot of blood in my room which was my temple, and I put it all together with Rachel nail. Not long after that I met the pastor in the street, and this pastor told me, Abby, the nail and the blood that you took from Rachel in my absence is nothing, you are wasting your time for nothing will happen despite all your effort, my God is alive and you will not be able to sacrifice your sister, I will show you that my God is alive, I said to this man of God, you are going to my mother because offering, you are useless, later on, I was passing the street when I saw a madman. I saw that he had many demon in him, I went on to established contact with one of these demons and I got him out of the body of this mad man, we were together moving in the street and talking, as we were moving in the street, I saw the pastor coming in our direction, and when this demon saw the pastor he told me, I have to hide somewhere, for this pastor is the man who had cast me away from my former habitation, and I ended up dwelling in the body of that madman, I have to leave you. I saw this demon climbing a long tree in order to keep distance from the pastor, when the pastor got closer to me, he told me, Abby, are you now friend with spirit that I have banished and cast away from this place, I said to the pastor, you wait you will see what I will do to you, take your time, later when I got home I lay down in my room in order to leave my body, quickly I left my body, and when I was flying out of the compound at the gate, I saw the pastor coming in our compound. When I was observing the pastor, to my surprise he lifted his hand and said, In the name of Jesus I barricade this compound, I block and secure this house from any spiritual movement, I disallowed movement in and out of this compound, no spirit will move in and out of this house and perimeter. When the pastor said these prayer of authority, immediately I saw that our compound was barricaded by matter that seems transparent like glass and I saw that I was blocked inside compartment of glass and I was unable to move, I was immobilized and I could not return to my body, while I was paralyzed unable to move, I saw the pastor calling my mother and they went to my room where my body was laying, he told my mother come to see your son, they got in my room where my body was laying asleep, the pastor told my mother, try to get your son to wake up, my mother tried hard to wake me up, when she was trying I tried and fought hard to return in my body, but in vain, for I was neutralized unable to return to move and return to my body, the pastor said to my mother, your son left his body in order to operate in the spirit world, but I can block your son for two days out of his body, and he will not be able to return, in the meantime I kept struggling to return in my body but in vain. Then the pastor and my mother went out and they began to talk for three hours while I was blocked and paralyzed unable to move. When they had finished talking, the pastor told my mother, I have to go but let the peace of the Lord be with you. When the pastor said peace be with you, I was released from the blockade and I return in my body. When I got in my body, I felt like when I was traveling underwater, it was like I came from far away and my conscious was not completely back. I was recovering gradually my memory and my reason, as I began to recover consciousness I saw my mother looking at me, she told me, my son, you need to confess what you are doing, I am hearing about things that you do, if they are true just accept and confess so that we can find a solution, at that moment the demon that escaped from the pastor in the tree came to me and told me, 
I saw what this pastor had done to you blocking in the air, he is the one that banish us from the place. He is extremely dangerous and you must keep a good distance from him. The demon asked me to return him back in the body of the madman, I pointed my hand toward the madman and the demon enter in his body I told him when I need you I will come to take you, apostrophe. I took refuge in my sister church escaping powers of darkness, I was in the prayer room hiding from evil powers that were after me, I was resting when I saw the ground tearing up and a hole open, immediately I saw countless ants invading the prayer room, at that moment I heard a voice behind me in the prayer room, the voice told me, don't come close to these ants, step back on the corner, when I moved back I noticed the presence of a chair in the corner of the prayer room. The voice that spoke to me came from this chair, later I came to understand that it was the pastor chair, no one sit on that chair for the pastor sit on it, when I got closer to this chair I felt like it moved, one more time I heard a voice emanating from the chair telling me to move further away, yet I could not see the person seating on that chair and talking to me, the sound and power of this voice coming from this chair was hitting my ears powerfully, I moved to the other corner of the prayer room. I kept wondering about the voice coming from the chair, I was confused and troubled, back then I was really thin because of the pressure and threat of the world of Satan over my life, at 3 am I stood observing the mysterious chair, when I moved around the door of the prayer room observing the compound of the church, I began to contemplate the church and I noticed that the roof of the church was removed, and when I look at the sky, I saw demonic serpent snakes and anaconda that were flying above the church, upon these flying creatures I saw a humanoid being that were riding these creatures of hell, as I was observing these creatures and paranormal phenomena, I heard behind me the voice emanating from the chair telling me, I will show you mystery in this church, I replied who are you, but he did not respond, and I wonder, finally I called an intercessor and informed him that someone was talking to me from that chair, but I don't see him. He told me brother calm down there is nothing, you were instructed to stay indoor, so try to sleep, the pastor will come tomorrow for you, when it was around 3 am in the night, I look outside the prayer room, this time around I saw massive angels standing on top at the sixth column of the wall of the church, they were resplendent with great light, I said in my heart these are the angels of God that had been fighting against me. Whenever I was sent to destroy God children I came face to face with them, surely they have come to kill me. These bright angels were colossal and gigantic, and I could see their huge feet and they were extremely tall, I mean many meters high, I saw that where they were standing was like white mist and white cloud and the place was filled with glory, I was scared and I called the intercessor because of fear, brother David told me, my brother just sleep. These angels that you see have not come against you but to protect your life, I was reassured and went to sleep, in the morning I was invaded by a long line of ants, I tried to fend them off but they enter my body and they began to crawl all over my body, I heard a voice telling me, let's see how you gonna deal with this torment you will suffer, I was screaming in pain taking off my clothes and running all over the church among men and women. When suffering this pain I felt demon pulling the chains that were attached in my body, this torment and persecution was unbearable, when my mother came she saw me in pain running all over the church naked and she cried, quickly she took one of her loined clothes in order to cover my nakedness, when I remember all this I conclude that no one will ever love you like your mother, mother have another heart, this torment lasted four days, in the sixth day I was with my mother and we were about to eat. I had food in my hand and I was about to place food in my mouth when I saw a dwarf demon showing up before me. He was holding an arrow and a bow, he pulled back his bowstring and was about to shoot me, and the dwarf demon told me, if you dare to put food in your mouth to eat I will shoot you with this arrow, since I was hungry. I ignored the dwarf demon, I was about to place food in my mouth, the demon told me, go on, I am waiting for you to eat. If you dare to eat you will see, but ignore the threat of this demon in order to eat, at that moment I heard a demon outside the church saying, so you don't listen, they are telling you but you don't listen, 
This demon was holding the chain that was rolled on my hand and extended outside the church, and this demon threatened to pull my hand that was rolled with his chain, since I could not move my hand I threw the food in my mouth, and immediately the dwarf demon shot me with the arrow and I was reached by the arrow, I fell to the ground agonizing and screaming, my mother asked me what is wrong, I said a dwarf demon just shot me, when the demon heard me talking about him. He took his bow and arrow again, and he said you dare to speak about me again I will shoot you. At that moment I felt the chain that was rolled on my body being pulled by the demon that stood outside the church, I screamed in pain and said, Mother, I have chain that is rolled all over my body, and they are pulling these chains, I am suffering. Suddenly, I saw three more demon landing before me. Each one of them attached me with chain that was rolled all over my body up to the level of the neck. As a result I could not move, I was immobilized. When they pulled the chain I fell down on the ground. When I fell I saw these demon laughing at me, and they told me, Now we gonna pierce you with our javelin. I saw these demon piercing me on the neck with a javelin, and they told me for the moment we have only pierced you with this javelin, that was hanging on my neck for they did not pull it out. When they let loose the chains, I stood up, immediately a demon hit the javelin that was hanging on my body, as a result I felt excruciating pain, my mother told me, who are these people that are persecuting you I cannot see them, I have no problem with nobody in this life, why is this happening to my son, in truth my mother should have been invoking the name of Jesus in this kind of situation, instead of talking in the air. I was on the ground exhausted because of the torment of demon, the following day which was women prayer, I got the visit of the pastor wife, who was received by my mother in the prayer room, as my mother was talking to the pastor wife about my situation, I was seeing things that the eyes could not see, finally I saw the image of the man that was talking to me from the chair where the pastor seat, this character that was a resplendent image was speaking and giving instruction to people that I could not see. I heard him saying to people that I could not see, bring another blood in order to replace his blood, bring more blood because his blood is not good, since my eyes was focused on the character seated on the chair, my mother asked me what are you looking at, I said to my mother, there is a man seating on this chair but I don't know who he is, the pastor wife looked at the chair that was vacant and told me, there is nothing and it's just God mystery, the pastor wife and my my mother continue their their talk, as they continued to talk the resplendent character of light stood up from the chair and lifted his hand, this character was tremendous light, when he lifted his hand I was able to see his hand that was great light, I looked at him and wonder who is this, my mother asked me what are you seeing I am worried about you, the pastor wife said to my mother don't mind him let continue to talk, then the resplendent man said in loud voice, you must change his blood, afterward you must change his body, when you have changed his blood and body I know what I will do, when this man of light was speaking, I could hear steps of many people rushing and responding to his instruction like in an emergency or intensive care, he told them, now begin to inject him with blood but first empty all his blood, at that moment I felt a sting of syringe like when a doctor do injection in patient, I said mother something is happening the man that seat on this chair is giving people order to inject me with thing. My mother exclaimed my god what is happening here, the pastor wife said to her, don't mind him just continue to talk, while this was happening, I heard demon outdoors saying alright, you will see what we will do to you, then they pull their chains that was rolled on my body, I was thrown on the ground, thank go there was nobody behind me, in the meantime I heard the lord that was seated on the chair giving instruction to his angels that were rushing, at that time the pastor wife told me, brother it is time to pray, now close your eyes and don't open it, immediately demon told me, you dare to close your eyes we will take your soul, don't listen to her, at that moment I felt injection that was administer in my body by the angel of the Lord, he kept telling his angels to administer treatment to me, then I felt a hand touching my feet, to my surprise the two chain that was rolled on my two feet were broken and I felt loosed and free, the pastor wife told me, now close your eyes for prayer don't open your eyes, when I close my eyes I heard the resplendent character that was the Lord saying, transfuse him more blood, at that moment I decided to open my eyes to see who was touching my feet, 
To my surprise I saw a golden man with a lot of hair, there was eye contact with him and I closed my eyes because of fear, I said mother there is a white and resplendent man here performing operation on my body, as the prayer continue I felt like released from the chain of demon, that were all on my body, I said mother I am feeling a little bit better, the prayer ended and the pastor wife was gone, in the night I could not sleep, as I continued to live in this prayer room. In the night I saw demons coming against me, they came with a diabolic bird, that was instructed to capture me, when this bird descended he seized me on the head and I screamed to my mother, I said mother you will not see me again, my mother said in the name of Jesus Christ it's not happening to you, at that moment I saw that I was rising, because you the demonic bird lifted me up and flew away with my soul, and suddenly I went into coma, which lasted for two days. During that period I was unconscious and could not remember anything. When I came back I said to my mother did I died, she told me you slept for two days. Later on, I was visited by the, the cherubim of Satan called Heavy. He told me, you have failed to do some effort to reconcile with us. Instead, you made the choice of hiding from us in this church. Now I will scatter this church and you will see, straight away this angel of Satan enter my body my eyes became like that of an animal, I became extremely angry and strong, suddenly I broke the padlock of the church, I began to break all the instrument of the church and the chair and everything for I lost control. I could carry extremely heavy things and it was light for me because of possession, what was strange is that I was not injured and I felt no pain, after breaking everything I was there breathing like an animal, people came and surrounded us and they wanted to take me to mental health asylum. I was often out of my mind for four hour causing trouble walking naked in the street, and whenever my conscious came back to me I was stunned to see that I was naked and I was running back inside the prayer room to hide my nakedness. During the church service I was losing my mind and causing trouble in the service, I was there around the pulpit dancing and my mother was running after me. On that day after scattering the church service, when I came back to myself I saw that I had cut my mother blouse, I said mother forgive me I don't know what I am doing I am losing my mind and acting unconsciously, and I am dying, where is the pastor of this church, my mother told me you were dancing all over the church strange dance, I understood that these were demonic dance, I was talking to my mother when I saw a serpent coming out of my back, it was a huge snake, he began to vomit bones that were human bones, I saw bones of hand and feet, after vomiting all these, I saw the face of this snake turning to that of human, and he told me, have you seen how I vomited this victim, I will return in your body in order to swallow you like that man, at moment my mother placed her hand on my shoulder and said, fear not my son, God will act, immediately I heard the slamming of the gate of church, when I look I saw the pastor entering, and there was an eye contact between me and the pastor, this snake told me, look, if you want me to forgive you and let you live, you must agree to offer this pastor to us as human sacrifice, I replied to the snake, I won't be able to do it, you're gonna have to kill me, I have reached the end of the road, I prefer to die instead of offering more people in sacrifice, brother when there was eyes contact between me and the pastor Timothy, that enter the prayer room, the snake asked me, why are you looking at this pastor like that, do you know each other, at that moment I saw the pastor moving his hand as if he was arranging the shirt, as a result I saw that the movement of his hand release a spark of light like an explosion, and quickly the snake demon enter my body moving down to my feet, and he went out of the church with a slam and a speed like a bullet, then I began to feel like someone was cutting my genital part, I panicked and ran quickly inside the prayer room, where the pastor was for whenever he come to church he goes first to the prayer room before preaching, when the pastor saw me he looked at me and said, leave him alone in the name of Jesus Christ, when the pastor said leave him alone something tremendous happen, all the chains that were rolling my body fell to the ground, I felt devices of the devil that were on the back of my head disappearing, I felt my stomach that seems to have been deflated and empty of stuff of the enemy because of his word, then the pastor told me, now you can go to attend the service, later on, the pastor joined the service and began to preach, the message was short on that day, and after meeting mothers of the church the pastor entered the prayer room and came out with a rod, 
that he always take with him to the mountain and bush when he retreat in prayer. When he came out I saw mysterious things, I came to understand that if the devil operate paranormal there is also mystical operation from God, if unclean spirit enter human, the spirit of God also enter human, the pastor went out of prayer room and he was holding a rod, the Bible said that Aaron had a rod, for each leader of the twelve tribe of Israel had a rod, that symbolized power and authority the Lord had given them, the rod of Aaron has produced leave because it had life. The rod of the man of God must have leave for this is a symbol of life, God has priesthood and we are his priest, and the priesthood of God work and produce fruit. When the pastor went out of the prayer room I saw that he went through transformation and became gigantic, he was walking like a giant with heavy steps, then he lifted his hand and said Jesus Christ, I hide this child for they will seek him they will not find him, but they will see your blood when they will come after him, the pastor said. Lord, I placed him inside the Red Sea and they will not see him Lord, then the pastor lift his rod and he hit the ground, and then he drew a square on the ground, and he said, My God, it's me Timothy, you said I will invoke you and you will hear me your son, then the pastor told me, My son, from this day onward, you will live, eat and sleep in this square that I drew here, this is your place of security, it is under the Red Sea, which is the sea of the blood of the Lamb. What happened in the Red Sea is that the Egyptian chased the children of Israel and they were submerged by the wave of the sea. These demons that are after you today you will see them no more. They will be submerged in the Red Sea of the blood of the Lamb. On that day when I step in that square that was drew by the pastor, I felt like I had entered a place covered by veil, and when I sat on the chair inside that square, I began to hear the noises of water like the wave of the sea, as if I was underwater. I said to my mom mother I can hear noises of water inside this square, when the pastor had left, brother David an intercessor who was with me right from the beginning said, my brother, since you are not yet delivered the pastor has draw this square to protect you from demons that are looking for you, just make sure to always stay inside this square, it was this way that I began to live in the church in this square and cheers the middle of the church, one day I was in the church inside the square. I was seated when suddenly I began to see like images of people up in the tree, I said Lord is this unclean spirit again, I was contemplating these image with fear, I wanted to tell my mother that I am seeing things, but I felt she would be frightened, as I kept looking at these images, to my surprise I saw a humanoid figure emerging, this demonic figure was hooded and was staring at me with determination, this hoodie demon stood there looking at me for many hours without taking action. I called the intercessor brother David and told him, My brother I am seeing a demon that is standing there for our observing me, brother David told me, Fear not my brother, they knows that they have lost you, this demon is surely powerless. When it was really deep in the night, I saw this demonic figure rising up in the air, he was holding a trident, as he was rising, suddenly I saw a being of light rising and following the demonic figure in the air, when they were in the same altitude. I saw that the being of light that was the angel of the Lord standing opposite to this demon, they were face to face and they stood in opposition, it seems to me that they were in confrontation and dispute, when suddenly the being of light exploded a bright and intensive light that flooded and illuminated the place, when this explosion of light happened the hoodie demon had disappeared, then the being of light descended to the ground at the gate of the church, I did not see the demon again. I kept watching the being of light descending and he moved toward the pulpit of the church, brother David asked me, what are you watching like this, I told him I saw a radiant figure that chased away the hoodie demon and this man of light is standing around the pulpit, the intercessor told me this must be the presence of God, on that day I slept like a baby, the following day in a dream I saw two people that came to see me in the church, they told me three things, firstly don't be sad. Secondly don't be angry and thirdly don't worry, these are the law you must keep. In the morning I told my mother about these messages from the dream. When the pastor came that morning, I was quick to get to him so that he would pray for me, and he did just a short prayer and said the Lord is in control for he will act in his own way. I was not reassured, I said to my mother why is this pastor doing short prayer about this grave situation, I am doubting him, he is too simple and does not look like a powerful man. He is dealing with this situation with lightness, 
On that very day in the night, I was heading to the toilet to pee when I heard the voice of the one seating in the chair of the pastor in the prayer room. He called me and told me, turn around and fear not. Immediately I felt fear leaving me, then he told me, don't criticize my servant and don't minimize my servant, he is my servant for I chose him. I went to my mother and said, mother, I heard the voice of God telling me not to minimize his servant. Mom told me, you see that the Lord heard your word of criticism against his servant, do not say it any more. I was still living and sleeping in the church in the perimeter drew by the pastor, I kept saying to myself, before getting home to collect my mystical book to give to the pastor I must be sure that he is powerful enough otherwise I will go visit other secret order to renew my power, as doubt began to prevail in my heart I began to disobey the instruction of the pastor, the square of protection he drew for me became annoying for I had to seat there, yet I began to spend my days out of the square of protection, Whenever the pastor saw me away from the square of protection he told me you are not following my instruction you are disobeying my rules, over time evil thought began to invade my mind to the point I began to question the power of the man of God, I said, how come the pastor has a rod, he has a mystical chair in the prayer, and he is able to draw a square on the ground and there is manifestation, this church must be satanic, for these are ritual, I remember one day before prayer meeting, Everybody was working to prepare the service and I was watching them, brother David told me, you cannot be watching, you have to do something for God, you can help move the chair of the father, at that moment I moved the chair of the pastor and I sat on that chair, immediately this intercessor became alarmed and aggravated and he told me, why have you sat on the father chair, no one seat on that chair, as these brothers continued to prepare for the service they were murmuring about what I had done. When the pastor came they informed him and told him that I sat on his chair, and they said, Pastor, why are you keeping a Satanist in the church? He has to go he is mysterious, my brother, godliness and priesthood is not always visible, the Lord was formula and the Lord has called us to priesthood. This pastor had a chair for when a man of God is committed to sanctification, purification and consecration by setting himself apart, the Lord will give him a chair. As a priest of the new covenant we have to boo, precept and ordinance, there is power in the chair where the leader seat. The chair of this pastor was sacred because he was sacred, when a priest sanctified himself, when he is holy and consecrated, even his clothes become sacred and holy, that is why the woman of blood was healed by the Lord garment, the presence of God was there in that chair in the prayer room, I was in the prayer room when I heard a voice the Lord, who told me, why are you disobedient? Why are you not keeping my instruction? Why are you not listening to me? When the Lord was complaining I felt the room being filled with people who were his angels, and I went out for the Lord was complaining. As I continued to live in this church the pastor continued to pray and minister to me. He told me it's not the time to go home though you want to. In truth I was not happy to stay in the church anymore. In the end I decided to run away from the church. On that day I took disposition and I ran away from the church and I went home. When my mother saw me she screamed God what are you doing here what have you done? I lied to my mother it's Pastor Timothy that authorized me but my mother did not believe. My younger brother said I don't believe that the pastor told him to come here his deliverance is not complete and there are still paranormal phenomena in this house. When it was night I slept, and while I was sleeping, I was hit with a wood on the back. I woke up screaming and everybody was awakened in the house, and my mother called the pastor, the pastor said, I did not tell him to leave the church, he acted in disobedience, before dawn make sure to bring him to church, he should not sleep, and when I looked out I saw the compound surrounded by demons, in the morning we went back to church, the pastor said you had enter into distraction, by going home. Then he gave me a seri of prayer which we did over time and I was completely delivered until today.
The Conversion of a Satanist, Part 1. I was destroying women through sexual intercourse, for my sexual organ was snake. There are men and women whose sexual organ are heads of snakes, you sleep with them you destroy your life, many have compromised their destiny because of sexual intercourse, since I failed to sacrifice my sister, the world of Satan turned their back on me and decided to kill me. The angel of Satan Jorgen sent more snake to torment me in my private part, which was the head of a snake, thanks to which I was destroying women lives, since this snake was supposed to leave me he caused me extreme pain. At this point all the marine spirit and terrestrial demon that were my servant were gone, it was strange, short demon and witches, I was resting at home when suddenly, I saw miniature demon in the colstra of our house, and these demon were watching me, I was suspicious, my mother asked me, why are you seating the watching like this as if something is wrong, I said to my mother, mum, I can see evil things, I am dying, I am seeing demon, I think I am gonna die. I kept the light open because of fear even though my mother wanted the light off, every time my mother turned off the light I was seeing these short demon, they were the size of hand finger, I kept turning the light on for they could not bear the light, and my mother asked me why do you keep turning the light on, I said mother, I am seeing people, I am in danger and I am dying, later in the night, I saw four witches in our compound, and they were burying a coffin in our compound, I said to my mother, they are burying someone in our compound, but my mother could not see all these people, later I heard these witches doing the ritual in the ceiling of our house, I talked to my mother and sister but they could not see them, finally my mother began to pray, she pray up to a point where I could not see and hear these people anymore, and there was silence, the threat of the wicked angel and the prince of the sea, later on while I was resting I saw the angel of Satan Jorgen that appeared to me, and he told me, I have already informed you that we are going to kill you, we are getting together today in order to destroy you, I said to Jorgen, really, you are doing this to me? Then he turned around, quickly I saw that his face changed, his upper and lower teeth turned to that of a beast, and he became beastly, blood was dripping from his mouth, I realized that he has come to devour me, I said Jorgen don't do what you came to do against me, and he told me, I am not Jorgen. They sent me here to destroy you, and soon you will know who I am. Immediately I began to invoke the god of the land though he has already turned his back on me. After doing prayer I released energy that shook the gate of the compound. As the prayer continued I saw a group of women outside who were wearing loined clothes up to their chest, and they came to my place with very short people. I don't know if they were human or demons, I was wondering who are these people. There are incredible things happening in the spit-eat world, I saw a tortoise shell flying and coming down from the sky, like a flying craft, and it landed in my place, as soon as it landed, I saw a man coming out of this flying shell, he came to me and asked me to seat down, and he also took place, when we began to talk my mother asked me, who are you talking to, I said to my mother these things are none of your business please, just get in the house. This mysterious humanoid entity told me, really, you were unable to offer your sister as a human sacrifice as require, I told him, I did what I could but I was not able to do it, he told me, alright, whenever people fail to carry out their obligation and assignment, I am sent to destroy them, for I am called the last angel, I terminate those who fail to comply to the law, I have come to put an end to your life, at that moment he lifted his hand. As a result the trident landed, I said to this destroyer, this trident belonged to the king of the sea, he replied to me, I am the son of the ocean king, that is why I came here with his trident, all the transporter and protector spirit that was put at your disposal are gone, they have left you because you are supposed to die, I am coming with all these spirit against you, I said who are you to command all the spirit, he replied, are you asking me who I am, when this man said the word Hema, which is the right word for hemoglobin, blood began to drip from my mouth, immediately my mother said I am smelling something strange, and she screamed my son blood is dripping from your mouth all over your body, what's going on, when I check I saw that I was wet with blood, my mother said we got to get to church, the sooner the better, at that moment I saw this demonic man lifting the trident of the king of the sea, 
and I saw all the protector and transporter spirit that were serving me all these years, they were numerous, and he told these water and terrestrial demon, this is my instruction to all of you, since the servant Bibi has failed to sacrifice his sister, I do not want to see him alive, I give you 24 hour to destroy him, when this demonic man flew away, my table, my books and the flower everything began to collapse in the house, I said to my mother things are grave and I am dying, I began to feel my stomach boiling, when my servant spirit turned against me, later on, when I went out in the street, I saw all the demons that were previously my servant, all these terrestrial and marine spirit were previously at my service, but they have turned against me, they were charged by the last angel to execute me, the devil always put the demon under the service of the witch, but when the witch failed to comply the devil charged the demon to kill the witch. These demon filled the street and surrounded the place, and there was nowhere to run, they made two column and a passage in the middle, one of them told me, Abby, you have to join us, if you have any supplication to make you will do it along the way, you have to come now, when I joined them we began to move in the street, as we were moving, I noticed that all the witches of my area were out in the street, they were happy for they hated me, they were happy about my arrest for this was my end. Actually, I have been imposing my will against them in the neighborhood, I was continually in battle of the spirit with them and I dominated them, the spirit world is all about test of power, the strongest dominate the weakest, when they saw that I was a captive led to destruction they were happy, a mother seller of cake who was a witch told me, what did you think you were, now you are finish, you have caused us so much trouble, you tormented us a lot, and today I will participate in your destruction, as we kept moving in the street, I saw a man who was a native doctor, he told me, finally we can have peace, you were stopping us from doing our job because you thought you were unstoppable, I will join them when they are about to execute you, as we kept moving I saw more witches and wizard in the street watching my arrest, when these demon took me to the end of the road I was supposed to enter the water, when I was about to do it I saw a man, I don't know where he came from and he told me, young man, I can see that you want to jump in the water, there must be something wrong with you, this man grabbed me but I resisted him and I began to fight with him, and we were joined by people in the street, as a result my mother came and she took me back home, I was resting at home, when I saw the cherubim of Satan, a tall and muscular angel called Heavy. He was holding two stick and he hit me with these stick, I fell to the ground, I felt like my feet were failing me I said mother my feet are not working, she said when people are about to die they will feel their feet not working, I said if that is the case then I am dying, my mother said you are not telling me what's wrong, when my mother looked at me closely she screamed, she said, this is not my son. In truth my face had changed to a degree that you would not recognize me even if you knew me, for demon were already drinking my blood, my mother said my son this is not you what is happening here, the cherubim of Satan told me. The hit you have received from me means you are already dead, you won't be able to walk anymore, you won't be able to eat anything anymore, when this cherubim disappeared the goddess Elizabeth showed up, she told me before we reach 3 p.m. today you will turn mad, I said to her this won't happen, I still have stick in my head, at that moment I saw Elizabeth lifting one of her finger, and her finger turned to a little metal heated in higher temperature like molten steel, she said you see my finger this is how the stick in your head will turn and it will kill you, I said alright let me wait for my death, my journey to church and the fear of dark power, I was talking to my sister on the phone in order to visit her, she said alright brother I am coming to see you tomorrow, as we were talking the phone began to crash, when the communication was back, and instead of my sister I heard Elizabeth talking on the phone, and she asked me, are you trying to dominate and control us, in truth my sister was a Christian and the devil was afraid of my visit to her place, later I took the phone in order to call my sister by you again, when she picked up the phone, Elizabeth spoke instead of her, and Elizabeth told me, you belong to us, we are monitoring all your movement and action, whenever you think about doing whatsoever we will intervene and stop you, in the morning when I was washing I looked at myself in the mirror, I saw that the face in the mirror was not mine, my mother said, 
Baby, due to your situation you must pay a visit to the pastor for prayer, I said I will consider your request to go there, I may have to go there, later I decided to get there, I did not know that the kingdom of Satan was alerted about our conversation about the possibility of joining a church, I was walking in the street when I heard a voice telling me turn right, I wonder what is this voice telling me to turn right. I took the right direction when suddenly a car passed in great speed and almost hit me. Thank God I saw a brother that had pulled me back away from the car, for I was in risk of being hit by the car as my mind was somewhere else, when the driver stopped the car he asked me, are you a victim of human sacrifice? Maybe you were already killed in witchcraft, you want me to bear the responsibility of your death, my advice to you is simple, find men of God something is wrong with you. Then I returned home, I said to my brother arrange my good for I am going to bite you, immediately I heard a demon saying, we thought you were going to church to see the pastor, it's good that you are not going there, and that you are going to see your sister, I said I am feeling well there is no need to go to church anymore, I am committed to do what I can do to return to the temple repair and correct what I did wrong, this demon told me, I am so happy to hear you talking like this. You should have said this long time ago, we thought you were considering to go to church, since you are coming back to your sense we are leaving you alone so that you can return to your activity in the temple, I asked this demon what do you think I can do in order to repair where I failed, the demon told me, I am proposing you to sacrifice 100 human souls, 50 in the neighborhood and 50 in your family, this is only a proposition it is not yet official, but you can move in action, when I was heading to my sister, along the way a man invited me to her party but I refused, I heard a demon telling me to accept her invitation which I did, symbol and drawing in clothes and shoe, as I continued to walk I felt like changing the shoe I was wearing, when I look at the shoe I was wearing I saw that there was a drawing of a man that lifted one of his feet and did a sign with his hand, I was about to change the shoe when I heard another demon telling me, don't change the shoe, we are monitoring you thanks to the shoe and I saw that the drawing in the shoe was changing, I saw the man in the shoe lifting two hand instead of one as if he was celebrating, there are symbol, sign and drawing in clothes and shoe that we wear, these signs are demonic and enable the enemy to control us, as I kept moving towards my sister, something happened in my mind, I mean I began to see that we were heading to a strange land gloomy and bizarre and I got scared, and I asked my brother are we really heading to my sister he said yes we are, it seems like his eyes saw something else and I saw something else, finally we arrive at my sister neighborhood, as we were crossing the boulevard I saw that demons were fighting to stop me from crossing the road to reach my sister place, yet they told me that they gave me a week to resolve the issue I have with them, when I got to my sister she was not home she was attending a prayer group in the street, albinos demon and wicked spirit in my body, suddenly I saw two albinos at my sister place, one at his door and the other at his window, these were demon, I said to them have you follow me to my sister place, they began to beg and lament why have you turned your back on us baby, really you have decided to abandon us please return to us, I said to them, I saw you many years ago I don't remember you anymore who are you, they replied to me we belong to you, don't leave us don't abandon us, please take us, I asked them where am I supposed to put you, they said we will find you a place, at that moment I saw a light illuminating my sister place, as a result these albinos that were demon disappeared, quickly I follow my sister in the group where they were praying, when I got to my sister group, at the door I began to feel itchy all over my body, I saw insect that appeared and were crawling all over my body, when I got around the prayer group I could hear people praying about many prayer point, I saw that these people were of God despite the many false pastor in the city, when I got closer to church I heard demons in my body screaming and telling me, why are you bothering us like this, you know we cannot bear this, we are leaving your body, I said well you are free to leave, they said you are talking to us like this, you will see what we will do to you, at that moment I began to feel snakes crawling all over my body, as people were paying I repeated their words when they said in the name of Jesus I also said in the name of Jesus I stop what is happening to me, these demons said wick name are you quoting against us like this, I tried to deny it, 
but they told me we heard you quoting that name against us. At that moment I got a phone call from my mother, when I pick up the phone I heard a strange silence, I suspected this was the lady of the sea, I said hello who is that? She said I am the ocean queen, you're gonna move away from that prayer group, I don't wanna see you around that prayer group, do it now and leave the place, or I am piercing your chest with the trident. At moment I heard demons crying and saying, please baby, beloved away from the church, we are burning and their prayer is destroying us just move away, I asked my little brother to take to my sister church, immediately demons spoke in my body and asked me, goodbye, are you trying to go to church, then my sister went out of the church when she saw me she said brother this is not you, since my sister could not recognize me I asked my little brother to take me to her church, he said it was a 35 minute walk, the nine heart of angels of Catholic magic and Jewish Kabbalah, but we walk for two hours because of demonic opposition and interference, I had to do prayer of Catholic magic of the charismatic renewal. The Catholic magic is a white magic mixed with the Bible, where they invoke angels who work in specific days and specific hour of the day, these are the nine heart of angels, we were heading to my sister church despite demonic opposition. As I kept repeating Catholic charismatic renewal prayer, I heard a voice speaking like a Catholic priest and telling me, I am an angel like others, I responded to your prayer because I am the one who work in this hour of the day, I will offer my service to you, but you will have to summon the Archangel Saint Michael that can protect you, I began to summon Saint Michael, while praying I felt a hand holding my hand and then I saw the Archangel Saint Michael who came in the shape of a normal man. He had long hand and long feet, basically, the Archangel Saint Michael, Saint Luke and Saint Gabriel, that are invoked in the Catholic Church are fallen angels, later on, the Archangel Michael led me to the right way, he made me cross the boulevard to the side of my sister church, there are many kingdom in the world of Satan, for I was helped by the angels of the Kabbalah, to escape from marine spirit and terrestrial spirit, then the Archangel Saint Michael told me, I have helped you but I have to go, before I leave you need to see the people that are chasing you, when he said that I saw behind me countless wicked spirit of the sea and the land, these were my former protector and transporter spirit, these demon were at my service previously, they were ordered by the prince of the sea to execute me, my arrival to the local church, and the beginning of large scale confrontation, marine and terrestrial demons were given 24 hour to destroy, I saw before them a demon that was holding a huge chains which had monkey skull at both end, this power said to these wicked spirit, I will capture this man at the door, some of these demons said, we will follow him even inside this church, we will not miss him, at that moment I summon a book of disappearance, which landed on my hand, I took the book and I read a prayer in order to summon a demon guide, when he came I asked him the address where I was going, and I said to the guide I need space to move. He told me the way is open go now, quickly I ran with speed toward the church, when I got before the gate of the church, the demon guide said goodbye and disappeared, when I entered the church of my sister, I saw a massive hand descending, I never saw this hand before, it took away the book of disappearance from my hand, in the church I saw mothers who were there, one of them said, this is the brother of our sister, quickly they noticed that I was shaking in fear. When they check me they said it's alright, for there is nothing wrong. At that moment while I felt a bit secure in the church, I saw the angel of Satan Jorgen on the ceiling of the church. He pointed his elbow which was a horn in my direction and told me, you came to church because you think we are afraid of this church, seriously, we are not afraid, there is nothing here, you really came to die properly here. I told Jorgen, you are not gonna get me, since I was shouting to Jorgen. These mothers asked me what is wrong who are you talking to, I said mothers they have arrived, they are here, who are you talking about they asked me, my brother tried to explain to them about demon that were after me, immediately these mothers began to pray and declare words of authority, they said in the name of Jesus Christ demons are not entering here this is a church, while they were talking I saw a huge chain entering the church gate, I wanted to run but the chain follow me and rolled my hand and I saw a demon attaching the chain on the church gate, I scream in agony and told these mothers. 
these demon have capture me with their chain. When I was crying I saw another chain entering the church and it rolled around my hip. Another chain entered the church and rolled my feet. Six chains rolled my body and I was in pain for I could not move. These demon began to pull my body apart. My bones and chest went forward and I scream as numerous demon were laughing at me. These mother kept asking me brother what's wrong. I said demon are pulling me apart. I was screaming for help and I said I am dying. These mother said you will not die inside the house of God. The wicked angel Jorgen told me, yes if you can beg and make request and we can talk, but hiding in the church will not protect you. These demon were tormenting me inside the church premises, but people could not see these huge chain. Finally I saw an angel of Satan before the gate of the church. She was an old and short woman. She was holding a bow. She stood outside the door of the church and she pulled the arrow in order to shoot me. She said you there, I will not kill you because you must suffer pain before you die. Then she shot me on with the arrow on the shoulder and I scream in agony and fell to the ground. My brother said I have to call mommy, I said don't call mum, but find the pastor. Unfortunately he was not there. The leader of the intercession group came to see what was going on. He was told a brother of their member went mental. I was screaming in agony and I told the leader, demons are already inside the church, they have invaded the church and they have surrounded me and you, they are filling the whole neighborhood in the street. The leader ordered the intercessor to take me inside the prayer room, and they made me sit on the ground. I felt a peace in the house of prayer, I could not see chain but I saw blood dripping from my body and demon place a goblet on the ground to recoup my blood which they were drinking. Inside the prayer room leaders asked me are you still seeing demon? They were not in the prayer room. Quickly I noticed that the door of the prayer room had disappeared. The leader said the door is right here, can't you see it? The intercessors began to laugh telling me my madness must be strong. The intercessor must learn to be prudent and careful. Demon in the body of the possessed can get you in distraction and laugh, in order to reach you. When the intercessor began to pray again, I saw in the neighboring compound a tree where demon were assembled in order to attack me, while prayer continue, I said to the intercessor, there is no precision in your prayer, you are praying vaguely, look over there, there are demon that have come to kill me and you, they replied to me, we do not see them and they are not there, we gonna ignore you for we must pray. These intercessors kept praying and changing one prayer point to another refusing to accept that they were demon in the air, a brother told me, fear not, whatever you see you won't see them when we pray for you, as the intercessor continued to pray, I saw demon on top of the tree arranging the bow and the arrow in order to shoot me, this arrow looked like the one used by fishermen to pierce big fish, suddenly I saw an angel of satan on top of the wall of the church, he said to demons in the air, I will count up to three and then you gonna shoot him, I saw that he lifted his trident, as a result the cloud in space began to turn round, I saw demon doing incantation and magi prayer, I saw the sky turning red, then this angel of satan began to count and said, one, two, when he said two I saw the ground in the prayer room shaking, I said to the intercessors that were praying for me, I am dying, they are about to shoot all of us here with arrow, quickly I stood up from the tile, brother David pulled me back to the tile, when I went back to seat on the tile, I saw the arrow that was pointed to us bending in the direction of these demons that wanted to shoot us, quickly, the angel of satan said to them, stop, don't shoot, abort, when they were trying to abort, I heard a detonation like a bomb explosion, and there was huge smoke, they were hit by the arrow that was designed for me, and they disappeared, the intercessor ended their prayer and they covered me with the blood, and told me you can now go out for the blood cover you, but I remain inside the prayer room for security, when they left, I tried to sleep, while I was trying to sleep, to my surprise the prayer room was filled with demon that surrounded me, I wanted to run away from the place, when suddenly a winged demon rushed to the door to block it, and he closed the door, and he told me you are not leaving I have blocked the place, I began to shout for help calling the intercessor, if only they could hear me, an intercessor that heard me shouting came and locked the door, instead of opening for me, I heard him saying, you are not coming out you are making too much noise for nothing, 
I tried to call my brother who was also tired of my hectic behavior, and everybody thought I was crazy as they could not see what I was experiencing. Finally these wicked spirit instructed me to sit down and they surrounded me. I saw the Ocean Queen Micheline, the Goddess Elizabeth, the wicked angel Jorgen and the Prince of the Sea with his trident. I saw the cherubim of Satan who refused to enter the prayer room. He was angry, and saying, I am not meddling myself in the trouble caused by this boy. Look where he came to escape from us forcing us to come in this church. This is a difficult place. We must try to get him out of here. These power of Satan that surrounded me asked me, Are you gonna return to the temple to serve us? I replied to them, You asked me to offer 100 souls and I agree. But you still continue to try to kill me though I agree to return to you. The Ocean Queen told me, we don't need to kill you, now we will leave you in peace, but this is It was in the fifth day of the week I was unable to sacrifice my sister, I summoned Elizabeth in order to ask her a strategy to execute my sister, she came and manifested on the wall of my house in the shape of a drawing, and she told me, just turn your sister to a puppy and kill her gradually, start by her feet, then her belly and arms. We can also attack her with a sickness that would make her suffer before we finish her. For at the seventh day of the week she has to die as required by the temple. I was talking with the goddess Elizabeth about killing my sister, when a former's girlfriend of mine came with her friend and she told me you are nowhere to be seen in bar and nightclub, are you finished? We agree to go out that night, but the goddess Elizabeth told me, how can this woman say that you are finished? This is humiliating and she could not speak that way, she has to pay, brother I told you that spiritual husband and ladies of the sea are jealous when they are married to human, these water spirit attack and destroy marriages, if your partner is inhabited by a water spirit or a spiritual partner your marriage is in danger, for spiritual partner are jealous and they destroy marriages, they create misunderstanding out of nothing with the intent of causing separation. The night we went out with these ladies to have fun, I was in the fourth day of the week where I was supposed to offer my sister as a human sacrifice, our temple called to ask me about what is done to execute my sister, I told them I am working on it, afterward I left home, I saw the pastor that my mother called entering our place, and he looked at me with an eyes of accusation, I told the pastor, very soon you will not be coming here. In the night Rachel was joined by her friend who came to visit her and when they slept, I touched Rachel's friend on the forehead with a perfume, as a result she left her body, and I captured her spirit and I placed her inside a calabash, and I covered it with a palm leaf, that is used in witchcraft as chains, then I place the demon Akeonon inside her body in order to animate it until she die officially, in the morning Rachel came she was complaining about pain in the belly. When I look in her belly I saw the demon that I launch in her body who was moving in her tummy, I wanted to stop this demon from tormenting my sister but I was forbidden, for Rachel was shortlisted for human sacrifice, Micheline told me, your sister must serve with us in the marine world when she die, I want to warn you not to intervene to try to save her, later Rachel that was in torment fell to the ground in pain, and her belly became swollen like children that suffer from malnutrition. When my mother came, instead of praying she decided to take her to hospital like many people, who fail to pray for the loved ones, my mother went to buy a drink called Metro in order to calm down the pain, as soon as Rachel began to drink that drink, I saw a massive angel that was peeing in this drink that my sister was drinking, I invoked the Ocean Queen Micheline and I asked her who is this angel here, she told me he is our discipline agent. I said why is he peeing in the drink, she said he is feeding the beast that is in the body of your sister, quickly I invoked the cherubim of Satan called heavy, and when he arrived and when he saw this angel peeing in the drink, he told me he is powerful there is nothing I can do against him, actually this pee was demonic secretion that the beast that was in my sister belly was supposed to drink, and when that beast in my sister body drank the liquid he calmed down and stopped tormenting my sister and the pain was gone. Later my sister began to vomit, but she was vomiting things that were in the belly of the beast that was in her belly, instead of things that were in her stomach, it was painful for her. When I was leaving our place I saw the pastor coming and he told me, you don't go out stay inside the compound, 
I told the pastor who do you think you are to tell me not to go out. I ignore the pastor and went out. When the pastor got in I saw a group of people of my neighborhood they brought my friend that had become dumb and could not speak, they were accusing me of being responsible of my friend condition as my friend could no longer speak, I began to communicate with him telepathically, I told him, have peace, I will solve your situation. But you should not tell people how you have become dumb, my friend said to me I will do what you say, quickly I entered in my room, I took the snail. I also took the nail and hair of Rachel, I began to do invocation in order to restore my friend's speech and kill my sister Rachel, as a result I saw the angel of Satan Jorgen appearing and he did a sign where he placed one of his feet on the ground and another feet was lifted up and he also lifted one of his hand upward, when you see an angel doing this sign of lifting one feet up and one feet down and one hand up. He is surely an angel of Satan for he is in contact with the Prince of Persia and the Prince of the Air. If you go to our national cemetery you shall see a statue of an angel doing this sign for our cemetery is called Necropole, they say it is between heaven and earth, not the third heaven but the second heaven the kingdom of Persia, I was doing prayer to restore my friend. The angel Jorgen told me we already told you in order to do this you gonna need to work with a madman. Immediately I stopped these invocation and I went out in the street to find a madman, whose body was the dwelling of all kind of demon, among these demon were a demon that had the capacity to render people dumb and to make them speak, I established contact with him so that my friend can recover her speech, finally I went back home and I did ritual in order to restore his speech, the following day my mother suggested that we take Rachel to the Catholic hospital. I was happy because a Catholic hospital is a place of demonic activity where it will be easy for me to execute my sister. When I went to visit my friend that was dumb, I brought him a corned beef and snail and water in order to heal him. When his family saw him eating the corned beef they joined him. When they all ate the corned beef I got a call from the kingdom of darkness congratulating me for sacrificing the whole family. Suddenly I saw the pastor that my mother brought to a house entering this compound. When the pastor saw me he looked at me and he looked at the food that the whole family was eating, by revelation this pastor knew that the food was not good, then he called a member of this family and told her, remove this food that your loved ones are eating, I said to the pastor why should they remove the food leave the food alone, the pastor removed the food and threw it away, as a result I saw my friend that had become dumb shouting in agony and he fell to the ground and pass out, he died on the spot. When this happened we were joined by the crowds of people who were accusing me of killing my friend, for I was the one who brought them the corned beef, I told them I have been coming here I never did something wrong, I brought my friend corned beef that they were eating, but this pastor came here telling them not to eat the corned beef, and when my friend began to argue with the pastor and he fell, since my word was bewitched the crowd believed me and they turned against the pastor, they told him you gonna tell us why this young man died. The pastor said, it is the person that brought them this food that is responsible for his death, but this crowd was unconvinced and they told the pastor you must tell us why the young man has died, the pastor said alright we got to know who killed this man, he drew a circle around the crowds and said we will now discover what is this corned beef that Bibi brought his friend, he began to pray, afterward he took water and placed it on people eyes and he said, in the name of Jesus Christ. I command spiritual eyes of each one of you to open, so that you can see the spirit world and the nature of this corned beef, suddenly the Lord opened the vision of a sister, who saw the real nature of the corned beef that baby brought his friend, which was actually a human feet, and when she saw this reality she fell to the ground in emotion, then a second person saw the corned beef and she shouted please God this is too much, I don't want to see it. The third person say the corned beef is a human feat, despite this demonstration the crowds took the pastor to the police, I heard the mother of my friend crying and saying whoever is responsible for the death of my son will be struck by thunder, but Jorgen told me don't mind her she is just talking, Jorgen told me, you have sacrificed your friend by mistake because the formula you had used was stronger for him, then I went to the hospital where my sister Rachel was taken. When I prayed for her the pain in the body was calmed down, though I prayed in the name of Jesus, in the spiritual it was a demonic prayer, when my sister regained some strength she told me, brother, 
I am seeing faces of people that are about to kill me and among these faces I can see your face, you are among the people that I am seeing, that are trying to kill me, since my sister had regained strength I took her to a church of a popular gospel singer in the city. When she saw her she said this is a powerful singer of the Lord, I told my sister you don't know her, but I know her real identity, this was a huge church site, after prayer in that church we were served food which were actually human part, I tried to stop her from eating the food for it was not real food, at that moment I heard the bell ringing three times to indicate the arrival of the God of the land, when he came he told me, are you trying to undermine our sacrifice, you're gonna give your sister that food. I gave Rachel the food but I asked her to pray before eating, but she ignored me like many Christian who don't pray before eating. Many days later when I came to attend prayer in this church, I saw everybody in short and I wonder why is everybody in short. Quickly I was given a short to wear in order to join the assistants. During the prayer I heard a voice that told me, you are now before the Queen Sheikh Idina. I asked her who is Sheikh Idina, she replied to me. You saw me beneath the Atlantic Ocean when you came to see my father the Ocean King. Immediately I remember the Ocean King who appeared with a trident under the ocean. The goddess Sheikh Idina that was worship in the Satanic Church told me, I will do things with you when we have fulfill your mission of offering your sister as a sacrifice. Fulfill your mission first then come back to me for we have to work. Later the angel of Satan Jorgen told me, you must offer your sister quickly they are claiming her soul. Then I went to Rachel who was sleeping in a room, I captured her spirit and I placed it in the Kalibash, where I had placed the spirit of her friend, and I took the Kalibash to the temple and these two captives souls were placed in a cauldron, Jorgen told me we cannot kill her now for people in your quarter are already accusing you of killing your friend, we will execute your sister when tension goes down, but let put these souls in the burning cauldron and let call the angel of God to keep them. This angel work in the lives of people to monitor their blessing and to stop them from possessing what belong to them. When I placed the Kalibash in the hot cauldron Rachel sickness got aggravated, when I learned that her fever was high I went to visit her, while paying a visit to Rachel, I noticed a man who was looking at me and looking at Rachel, he kept looking at us suspiciously. The angel of Satan Jorgen told me, this man who is looking at you and your sister know your identity and he know we want to execute Rachel, you must subject him to verbal abuse, so that he would leave us alone, quickly I went on to use harsh words against this man and he left us, when my mother came, I saw this man that was looking at me suspiciously accusing me to my mother, and he revealed to my mother that I was about to kill Rachel, Basically before coming to visit Rachel in the hospital my mother went to visit the pastor who was incarcerated in jail, and the pastor told her your son Bibi is a Satanist, he want to kill your daughter Rachel and your house is haunted by marine spirit because of him, the pastor told my mother I am giving you specific prayer to cancel the death of your daughter, I rushed to Rachel room and I began to do magic prayer in order to kill her, while I was in prayer. My mother was joined by intercessor and they began to pray for Rachel recovery, as soon as they started to pray I began to feel uncomfortable. The angel of Satan Jorgen told me, Baby your mother is praying with intercessor, who came to pray for the sick in the hospital, and the man who was looking at us suspiciously has joined them, as they continued to pray wickedness rose in my heart for I was unable to execute my sister, they block and neutralize my ritual and magic prayer. When they had finished praying I insulted the man who saw my identity, while we were arguing, we were joined by his son, who asked me, why are you insulting my father, I said to him please mind your own business, the man told me the person you want to kill will not die you will die if you dare to kill her, I told him if you try me you will die, he asked me do you know the one who is in me, there is nothing you can do to me, I told him I am looking at you, and I don't see anything, there is nothing in you that scare me, for you are empty, this was a Christian who was empty, he lack a life of prayer and holiness, thus he was empty and not prepared for spiritual battle, when it was midnight in the hospital, I began to do magic prayer sending rays so that I can be supported, it was then I saw my two friends joining me, they came with physical body, I saw that they came with the demon Pygus and the demon Johnny Walker, Pygus is the demon who strike his target with fire, wind, water and earth, 
Johnny Walker is the master of discipline in the world of Satan and he has a whip. When they came in the hospital corridor when people were waiting, Johnny Walker began to beat the young man who was arguing with me. He tried to shout for help but no one could hear him. Then we went away. In the morning the police came to arrest me for beating the young man. When I entered the toilet I turned to a cat and I ran away while they kept waiting for me. In the meantime, the health of my sister was deteriorating and he was declared HIV positive. On that day in the night while I was sleeping something unprecedented happened. I saw the heaven descending to me. It was brightening cloud. When I entered the cloud I was bringing stain in the environment. Then I heard a very soft voice that I have never heard before, that told me, walk back, keep walking back. When I walk out of the light, I heard the man that was speaking asking me, do you know me? I replied to him I don't know you, he told me, I know you, I want to ask you to do something. I asked him what do you want me to do, he told me go release your sister that you have bound, if you release her spirit, one day I will come to save you. While the man was speaking to me, I saw the heaven and its shining light rising and leaving the earth, I saw a huge hand saluting me, quickly I went to the temple and I told the priest, a man appeared to me and he is asking me to liberate Rachel, I feel like I have to release her. But these priests oppose me, I told these priests, I prefer to die in the place of Rachel, they told me in that case you will die in her place to compensate the sacrifice. Since I decided to release my sister, I went to see the demon who guard the cauldron where I place her spirit, and I told the guarding demon, I came to release my sister and I am willing to replace her as a human sacrifice, I saw the cauldron being open and the spirit of my sister and the spirit of her friend leaving the cauldron where they were bound, I was about to be placed in the cauldron when suddenly I got the strength of an animal and I fought the demon guard in that place, and finally I went away free. When I went to the hospital I found Rachel vomiting things, Jorgen told me what your sister is vomiting is from the stomach of the beast, the beast is drinking your sister blood and what he is spilling out is what your sister is releasing. The angel of Satan said your sister will die, I said no way she would not die, we were in the hospital when I saw the pastor who was supposed to be in jail, when he saw me he told me, Abby, I will not leave you I will go all the way with you. I was in jail but the Lord taught me things and sent me out to deal with you. When the pastor joined Rachel he began to pray, and when he was praying he reached a level where I began to lose equilibrium, actually this prayer cause we call spiritual earthquake and spiritual tremor. When the earth began to shake as a result of prayer there was no place to tread, for wherever I tread I was collapsing to the ground that was shaking, I heard demon that was accompanying me shouting in panic. These water spirit were in stamped and shouting for help to me, because of the great shaking and tremor. They shouted to me telling me baby we are being destroyed what are we supposed to do, quickly I instructed them to disappear and leave me alone to face this earthquake, these ladies of the sea had to leave me although they always walk with me, and they flee from the great shaking and tremor that hit the land. I began to observe what the pastor was doing, I saw the pastor placing his hand on the belly of my sister and he said, in the name of Jesus, you demon, I pulled you out of Rachel belly, when the pastor say these word, I look and I saw the short demon that I sent in Rachel body, he was pulled out by the pastor who held him, and the pastor said, I send you back where you come from in the name of Jesus Christ, immediately I saw the demon returning to my body with speed and I began to feel the pain, this demon was moving all over my body and told me, you are the one who brought this pastor to cast me out, I will take my revenge, later when I went home I found that everybody has flee the house, for the pastor has revealed that the house was haunted by demons, later I called Rachel and I asked her how she was going, she told me I am fine and recovering, suddenly Elizabeth called and asked me, what are you doing? Do you think that your sister will escape death and run from us? I told Elizabeth you would do nothing to her, and she asked me are you opposing us? I told Elizabeth you will not kill her, later when I went to the temple they asked me about the sacrifice of my sister, I told them nothing is working and I am tired of all these things, when I said these words they all got furious against me and they asked me do you want to die? I said please don't kill me. Then an elder placed his hand on my head, 
As a result I saw my spirit leaving my body, and I saw that I was taken to captivity for rebellion, I was sent to a spiritual prison in the temple, where my souls were incarcerated, I saw some of my friend who were deceased in that prison, actually my deceased friend were locked in this unseen prison, and though they were dead and in prison, every night they were released out in the world to carry out mission of destruction, when I arrived in this prison, they told me, Abby, you are not leaving this prison when you fall here, I told my deceased friend I am not dead like you, the priest just remove me from my body in order to incarnate a spirit that will animate my body, when I was in this prison with deceased souls, I saw my body laid on the altar by the priest, I watched these priests summoning a demon that was supposed to enter my body and replace me in my body in order to animate it, while they were doing magic prayer, I saw a demon coming from far and he kept repeating and saying, the spirit of Meng Wu, the spirit of Meng Wu, finally the demon enter my body and began to animate it, the demon stood up, I was in jail watching this demon animating my body and behaving like me, the priest told this demon, now you can go and get Rachel, then the demon that was in my body went out of the temple, and I saw him walking the street with my body as if it was me, while I was detained in this prison, when I saw this demon in my body behaving like me I said to my deceased friend, you often leave this place in order to carry out mission, can you help me follow this demon that is using my body, however, given that my friends only work in the night they could not help, later on, I was visited by a priest that like me in the temple, he was concerned that this demon was walking in the street with my body, the priest told me, Abby, I will help you, the priest said to me we have the body of a man who is in a out of body journey here, I will bring it so that you can enter inside and use it, the priest told me, you need to follow the demon that is using your body in order to avoid damage of your body, the priest brought me the body of the man who was in out of body journey, and I entered inside that body I occupied the pocket where his spirit dwell in order to animate it, for I was to follow the demon that was animating my body. I saw that this demon was walking with my body slowly in the street, finally the priest got my spirit out of captivity, and I went out in order to try to recover my body, I was walking in a relative distance behind him, making sure that he does not see me, this demon was using my body and I was using someone else body, I kept following this demon that was walking the street, when suddenly he disappeared, the angel of Satan Jorgen told me, this demon has sensed your presence, and he has discovered that you are following him, he has not disappeared, he is just the trying to hide from you, immediately I performed the move that he did, as a result I saw him again, when he saw me he started saying and repeating, Mengu Mengu, he was actually speaking Japanese, as he kept repeating his name, I said enough, and then he stopped speaking in Japanese, then he asked me, are you gonna keep up with me, he told me, the body you are using is not yours, I said is the body you are animating yours, you are using my body, then he disappeared, quickly I use what we call Vespo, which mean witches and satanist can take a cane or a toy and turn them to a plane, I took a cane of sardine and I turn it to a plane through magic formula and I traveled to my auntie where Rachel was, when I got there I found the body of Rachel but her spirit was not there, this demon came in this compound because there was no prayer, and when he pointed his hand towards Rachel, he called her spirit out of her body, when Rachel had left her body she had eyes closed, she followed the demon, the angel of Satan Jorgen informed me that the demon had called Rachel's spirit out of the body and they have already left the place, they are in the street moving, when I scanned the city I saw them in the street, immediately I teleported and I landed before them in the middle of the street, this demon that was moving with the spirit of Rachel that was following him, Rachel eyes was closed but her spirit was moving, because there were wheels placed under feet that was causing her to walk though she was subconscious, I told this demon what are you doing with my sister, immediately I summoned the goddess Sheikhidina of the ocean, when she showed up, she shot this demon with fire, as a result I saw my body that he was using falling to the ground, my sister spirit kept walking as a wandering spirit, I saw the goddess Sheikhidina pulling the demon out of my body, and she looked at the demon and said to him go back where you come from, and she threw the demon in the air and the demon disappeared, the goddess came to me and she placed her hand on my head, 
and she pulled me from this body that I was using and she returned my spirit in my body, and before leaving the goddess Shikhaidina told me, you must sell it the god of the land, when the goddess has left the place, it was covered with a mist which made me disappear but I landed in another, the lord said the electronic puce is ready all the system is ready very soon it will be made available initially it will be voluntary then it will become mandatory. The Queen of Queens and the King of the Oceans, after surviving the chaos in the Atlantic Ocean caused by my uncle prayer, the following days, I was resting in the crossroad in the night, when I saw two dwarves demon appearing, they were old man and woman, when they came I thought they were pig around me because they were making noises like pig, when I look I saw that they were dwarves that speak with their noses, they told me, Abby, the Queen Micheline is in trouble because of what happened last time. The king of the ocean is angry against her and you, you gonna have to offer three member of your family, your helper the goddesses had disappeared in the chaos that happened last time, we got to find her, try to descend underwater at midnight, the following day I saw my mother complaining and she said, I don't understand what is happening in this house, whenever I sleep I see strange monkey, crocodile and dwarves, Later when I was going out of the compound I saw two of my late friend and three that were alive. The two of my late friend died when we were serving together in this order. One of my late friends said to me, Abby, you are in a tough situation that is why we came to support you, we are hopeful that one day you can help us get physical body, so that we can return to the physical world and enjoy life like normal human. When I accepted their help we decided to travel to Lower Congo. I invited them inside the house, when they enter the house my mother who was sleeping began to dream that people were entering the house through the wall, in the meantime I opened a turbine and when the portal opened, three of my friend enter, when it was my time to enter the portal leading to the south of the country, I heard my mother saying in the name of Jesus Christ, brother, there is all power in the name of Jesus Christ, for when my mother said in the name of Jesus Christ I collapsed on the ground, Actually a part of my spirit was already in the portal about to travel but I was not gone completely, thus when I fell on the ground I went into unconsciousness, my mother tried to wake me up, but spit were dripping from my mouth for I went mental, while my spirit was in the lodge, my mother took my body in a church where there was God presence and God power, and the following day when I woke up, I saw that I was in a church, there were intercessors and protocols service. Quickly I realized that all the demons that were in my body had left, I felt strange, I contacted the winged goddess to ask her where I was, she flew over the place and took a motion picture of the place and sent it to me, when I look at the images of the place, I was able to identify the street in the church where I was, this was a living church, when I asked my helper the winged goddess, she told me, I cannot approach where you are in that church, I will be paralyzed. In fact I am already feeling a powerful wind pressuring me, I said to my helper the goddess you got to move away, she said I have to keep a distance of 50 meter, there will be no communication between you and me because of this, when I called the lodge, the priest told me, Abby, you have to leave that church immediately, for all the protecting spirit have left you they can't be there in that church, you are by yourself. I was getting ready to flee I saw that the pastor has become suspicious and he asked intercessor to be with me, I began to distract the intercessor in order to flee, when I went to the toilet I called the demon that stopped time and caused distraction he told me I cannot join you inside the church for I will be block, you're gonna recite my prayer in order to distract the intercessor, this prayer is done by those who steal in public such as marketplace, in order to distract people. Thieves do magic prayer to distract the people, and people regain their mind after they were stolen, the demon of time told me, I have come to you but I am, losing power, just recite my prayer of time stop in order to distract the intercessor, given that the demon master of time was losing communication because of opposite vibration coming from the church, I recited prayer of the master of time in the church as a result there was distraction that fell upon intercessors, and I managed to jump the church wall and I ran away, I joined the temple where the priest laid hand on me and prayed for me, 
When he was praying all the demons that had left my body in the church began to enter one after the other in me, they asked me, Master, what happened? Where you were taken in that church we could not be there we had to run. But we had not abandoned you. The following day I traveled beneath the Atlantic to see the Queen, suddenly appeared the King of the Ocean, in the past he appeared to me in the form of a head but this time around he was complete, I saw that the King of the Ocean was in the likeness of a cherubim, he was long and robust and imposing, he was holding a trident and he was dressed with clothes and sandal like in the time of Jesus, he was extremely handsome and he was angelic, while I was talking to Queen he said to us enough of your talk. Now I am taking over as a father, now where is my son, he was actually talking about the evil baby, then he asked me where is my wife, the one who have delivered the baby, I said you mean my mother, but she is not here, he said she will be with me here and I will use her body and his spirit, then the king placed his hand on the table. As a result my mother appeared, he said since your mother is my wife I will adopt the face and appearance of your father. Then the king placed his hand one more time on the table, immediately I saw my father appearing, he was dressed with clothes that we buried him with, he said this is the appearance I will be adopting when I come the surface of the earth, the following day the king of the sea sent me to the shopping district where they sell clothes, when I reached the point of the district where he sent me, he said to me, I sent you in the district so that ladies of the sea that are resident of your house will deploy there in the central district. It's no longer your responsibility to find them body, you will deploy them in the central market in the lives of the people that come and buy in the shopping district, this is your mission, you will release 100 marine kingdom princess and mermaid in the lives of the people who came to do shopping here, initially I was supposed to find bodies for these marine spirit ladies, since I was taking time the king decided to send them in items that women buy in the market. He told me these water spirit are not entering just anybody, there are people that I have chosen. They are people having the writing of God in their spirit that will come to pass thanks to God presence and righteous walk, and there are people having the writing of the devil, the king say I will put my symbol on the forehead. The necklace and the earring of the people shopping here, I was in the shopping district when a lady turned up in a restaurant where I was resting and I managed to engage in a conversation with her. I saw that she was wearing a necklace that had diamond and there was like a liquid inside, the king of the ocean said the liquid in the necklace is ours, now you gonna send one of the mermaid that reside in your place in her necklace, quickly I called one of the many lady of the water world that reside in my house, she flew above me and enter inside this lady necklace, when this happened, I saw that the necklace had become a snake and the lady became uncomfortable and removed the necklace, she said. I really felt a strange feeling there is something wrong with the necklace, the king of the ocean informed me that the husband of this lady was in the occult, his husband bought this necklace in West Africa and the man used her wife's star to be rich. The man is my child, that is why I chose her wife, the mermaid that has entered her necklace will reside in the belly of the snake that is the necklace. The lady felt uncomfortable because of the entering the marine lady in her necklace. The devil know that women are in beauty and aesthetic therefore he is working in jewelry, beauty, ring and necklace, lotion, perfumery. I was still in the shopping sector, I saw a lady wearing a ring on her hand which had beads. She was cooking in a restaurant where I was relaxing, the king of the sea said her bead belonged to us. Therefore you gonna instruct two of the ladies of the sea that reside your house to enter in this woman bead. I summoned two marine lady that enter the bead of this lady, when the water ladies enter the woman bead, I saw that she fell asleep, the king of the ocean said, since people come to this restaurant to eat, you gonna deploy 25 oceanic mermaid that will reside in her place here, on that day I scatter 100 water spirit in the city center, I was congratulated by the king for releasing marine spirit in action, when the king had gone. I was joined by Elizabeth and we went to a bar, where there were lesbian and homosexual, when we got there she said, I need to bewitch these people so that they will be more in perversion, I saw the goddess Elizabeth blowing smoke that were entering in the bodies of all these people, when it was dawn Elizabeth returned beneath the ocean, and when I got home, my mother said, Bobby, we got to talk, 
For all these days I am dreaming your late father laying on my bed and watching me, I came to understand this was the king of the ocean who promised to use the appearance of my father, she said. When I slept and I dreamed that I am bathing with your father, and these dreams have become repetitive, then my mother said, Bobby, what did you do? I took you to the church for men of God to pray for you, but you ran away, how could you do this? When my mother was talking I saw the Queen Micheline appearing and she was leaning on the wall watching us, she said Bibi just lied to her, you cannot tell the truth, when I began to lie that I did not run away from the church, where they were supposed to pray for me, the talk became heated and I got angry, I was leaving our place in order to go out, when suddenly I saw the pastor who was supposed to pray for me entering the compound, he stopped and held me and said, where are you going? What did you do? Have you run away from the church because we were to pray for you, brother? When this pastor held me I felt different for I was carrying unclean spirit in my body. Actually when demon come to dwell in the body of Satanist they become heavy and powerful. But when the pastor held me I began to feel that these demons were paralyzed and they were leaving, for they were overpower. The pastor told me, come to the side and let talk. The pastor asked me, do you travel to the submarine world? Do you travel underwater world? I know you do, now let's see if you can take me there, as the pastor was talking, immediately the Queen Micheline called and said to me, Baby this is quite a situation, this man of God is powerful you got to insult him in order to aggravate him, immediately I saw the angel of Satan Jorgen coming, he said you got to do prayer of Chika, so that the spirit of insolence will enter your body and dwell in you. Quickly I recited magic prayer and the spirit of insolence enter my body, at that moment I began to abuse the pastor verbally in order to upset and offend him, as I kept speaking the man of God was quiet and he said I know who is speaking in you, it's not you it's a demon, I am not impressed by the spirit talking through you, this pastor had discernment and he had spiritual vision for he was capable to see the spirit world, I said to my mother and the pastor, let me buy credit I have to call my uncle so he can come and deal this situation, how can you say that I have demon speaking in? The pastor said you are not coming out of the compound, I know that you will run away, I was upset and I continued to abuse the pastor verbally, I was so angry that I began to vandalize everything in the compound, my mother tried to calm me down, since I was furious I saw that I was transformed in my spirit and I became a beast having a tail. As soon as I turned to beast the pastor said to me, you can take whatever shape and appearance you want, I am not impressed and I am not afraid, the pastor said to my mother. Madam, if only God can give you spiritual eyes to see what your son has turned into you will be stunned to see what your son is, since I had many demon with me the pastor said I can see what you have become and I can see all the entities and beast behind you but I am not afraid. I was shocked to see that this pastor was able to see everything that was happening in the spirit world, nothing was hidden to him because his spiritual eyes were opened, he was a dedicated servant, since I was outsmart by this man of God I decided to find a way to flee from him, I came to the gate where he was standing in order stop me and there was altercation between him and me, and I managed to run away, and I flee from the presence of this pastor, I went to rest at my friend place. Quickly I felt the demon that had left my body because of the presence of the pastor returning in my body. The Queen of the Atlantic said, you are not going back home the pastor is dangerous. Since this pastor is threatening us you got to threaten his family. When it was night I began to do invocation. As I kept reciting magic prayer I turned to a wolves, and then I called the winged goddess my helper. When she came I said to her. I want you to travel to the house of this pastor in order to capture direct image in a perimeter of 100 meter around the pastor place, so that we can determine the power and spiritual forces surrounding him. When my helper the winged goddess traveled to the pastor house, and when she was about to reach a distance of 100 meter, quickly she saw the protective angels of God keeping the house of the pastor, she called me and said, Master, I can see people who have wings like me around the pastor place, she called and said Bibi, the house of this pastor pastor is protected by bright being of light that have wing like me, they are standing in space and behind them I can see an intense light, and above the light I can see something like a ring, but I don't know how to describe it, 
I said to the goddess, call the queen of the Atlantic, immediately my winged goddess called Micheline. The later said to me, the ring above the pastor house is yellow and it is sparking light and these angels that are guarding the pastor house have the feet of animals, actually they were like the four living beast, I said to the winged goddess, can you check what is behind these angels of God, she replied to me, when I looked I can that there is three gate, however only the gate in the middle that secure by these angels, but the other two gate are not under their protection, I said okay, now check inside these two gate who live thee, when the winged goddess wanted to check the people sleeping inside the two houses I heard the goddess groaning as if she was in pain, I said what is wrong, she said I wanted to move a bit further in order to check but I can feel my hand paralyzed, I said get back, she said I am trying to get back but I cannot move back I am paralyzed, I feel like a smoke is asphyxiating me, I said try hard to get back, she said I am unable to do it I cannot move I am paralyzed and unable to move. I said is the light still there, she said the light is still there and I can that the shining ring above the house is expending in order to cover the two other houses that were not protected previously, the goddess said I can also see the pastor that came to your place he is coming out of his house, I asked the goddess check who is with him she said he is alone, immediately I began to recite magic prayer, and I landed around the pastor house, immediately I turned to a cat, and I climbed the wall of the pastor compound, and I saw that he had three children, I saw the son of the pastor was already a young man, but when I checked his spiritual condition I saw that he was completely empty, actually I discover the pastor's son did not care about the things of God, I want to warn you children of pastors, you got serve God with your parent otherwise you will be the gateway through which the enemy will enter to cause distraction in the ministry. Th pastor son was going out, I saw his two sisters saying to him daddy said we should all join him in the church, he replied to them, I have other places to go, I can't go to church today, I will join when preaching begin, I saw the pastor daughters going to church but the young boy was still inside the compound, I could still feel the light and the power of God in the pastor compound, and I kept a distance from the house, and I was still in the shape of a cat, Quickly I called my helper the goddess to ask her whether she was freed from the paralyzing smoke that held her, she said now I am free and I can move, I said you need to step away from the rays of the pastor place, I came here personally in the shape of a cat, I was monitoring the pastor's son and I saw that he went to pee in the toilet, quickly I follow him in the toilet, as he was peeing I began to recite magic prayer and I transferred him a light that was acid. This was done through the pee that was coming out of his organ, and before he had finished to pee I had managed to enter in his body and I was dwelling in him, and when he went out of the compound to the street I began to awake sexual desire in him whenever she saw a woman in the street, then the young boy called her girlfriend for I stimulated in him sexual desire, she was calling her girlfriend in order to sleep with her, I called the queen Micheline, I said we got to kill this boy. She just called her girlfriend in order to sleep with her, but I don't want him to sleep with her girlfriend, find a lady of the sea who will sleep with him, Micheline said you are right Bibi that's a good idea, then I saw Micheline who came to the surface of the earth, I would like to inform you that mobile phone technology is controlled by the devil, for when the pastor was calling his girlfriend the mistress Micheline entered the wave and she landed to the place of the young lady, she gave the lady heaviness. As a result the young lady began to complain to the pastor's son that she cannot come for this and that reason, however the sexual desire that I had awakened then the pastor's son was still there, then Micheline said, I will find a lady in the neighborhood and I will send a mermaid inside the lady so that the woman would sleep with the pastor's son, god children have to understand that marine kingdom agents can send marine spirit in their lives thanks to some of the fashion clothes, some of the earring, ring and necklace they wear, there are items that you wear which can constitute a doorway for demon to enter and the devil is intensely working in women adornment, it was when my goddess was flying over the city that she saw a woman wearing a fashion skirt that gave legality to enter in her body, when this happened we began to work to get them to meet, it was through magic prayer I was doing in the crossroad, roundabout and junction, this prayer caused the pastor son and the young lady to come under manipulation of evil spirit that led them to the crossroad where I was praying so that they can meet, 
and when they cross each other way there was attraction and they began their love talk, and since the pastor son had some money they paid a hotel where we follow them, we were spectator of all this, for when satanic agent are attack couple they enter their bedroom and they stand a spectator watching everything they do in bed, this happen when man or woman ha a spiritual husband or spiritual wife. For it is when man and woman are having sex in that moment when man sperm meet the ovule when man and woman secretion meet and begin ovulation it is in that time that angels of Satan and marine spirit capture children, and they do it when man and woman meet in bed, during sexual intercourse they often bring strange liquid of the dead or dirty water that they place in the woman organ to remove pleasure in sexual intercourse, so while the pastor's son and the lady were talking we were arousing them. Micheline managed to remove resistance in the woman who was accepting everything that the pastor's son was saying. The lady did not agree to sleep with her but there was a power overruling her will, it was demonic manipulation, and finally they went to the hotel very well known in the city, when they enter we also enter, but we came in the spirit, when we join them in the hotel the Queen Elizabeth said to me, you got to prepare the water of blessing. Actually many pastor who travel to Nigeria have the custom of praying for water and this water is the Atlantic Ocean water. They place water in the bottle and they introduce the finger in the water and they invoke the goddess of the Atlantic Ocean who give them directive. I did prayer with the water in the hotel room where the pastor son was with this lady. As a result the princess Gabriel came and entered the body of the lady. The mistress Micheline said, we need to destroy the pastor's son because of what the pastor had done, we need to demonstrate to the pastor who we are, and many goddess and water spirit follower join us in the hotel room, when they began to remove their clothes, in the meantime many prayer were done in the background by you water spirit, I prayed to the god Shiku of water, this god work with many pastor who lay hand on people forehead in order to open their third eyes. We pray to the god Shiku of water, then we started to recite magic prayer called oracle, that the ladies of the sea do when they help each other hand to pray, quickly the god of water Shiku said, Baby, it is time to act against the pastor's son with all strength with with the power of the son of Dewis, all the strength must be gathered in order to execute this operation against the pastor's son, when the pastor's son began to have sex with the young lady the queen Micheline appeared. She placed her hand on the back of the head of the pastor's son, as a result the spirit of the young came out of the body, quickly I opened a portal for Micheline to transport the spirit of the young man, when they enter the portal Micheline told me to go home, when I got home I, I saw the pastor asking my mother, where is your son Bibi, my mother said he is at the back of the house, when she spoke that way I quickly jump the wall and flee from him. I was running when I receive a call from Micheline. She said baby something is wrong, I am blocked inside the portal with the spirit of the young man and we cannot land, I replied to the queen, what can I do, she said just do magic prayer to unlock the situation, immediately I called my helper the goddess Lucian, I said the queen Micheline is blocked in the portal she is unable to come out of the land, you must open a way, she said I don't know what to do, quickly I went to my house and I laid down in order to leave my body. I went out of my body and I traveled to our temple, when I got there a priest told me, you have left Micheline in the portal with the spirit of the young man, but she cannot cannot move, you got to do something or she will stay there for, she is a water spirit and it is not easy for her it is dangerous she must be able to land under water, quickly I did magic prayer and I landed under the Atlantic Ocean, where I met the king of the ocean he was tall, robust and he had a lot of hair. The king of the ocean was holding a huge trident, he was angelic and he was handsome, I said to the king, master the queen is stuck in the portal with the soul of the pastor son, he said alright follow me, quickly we began to rise out of the ocean and we landed in the world that seemed abandoned and silent, where I could not see the inhabitant, and then we went place where we saw the turbine that people call portal which is always in the form of the wind going from the water world to the surface world, we saw the queen who was immobilized with the soul of the pastor son inside the portal, the king pointed his trident toward the turbine as a result they were liberated, and I saw that I was already back in the surface, I was at home when suddenly I saw the pastor entering out compound, and he said to me, 
Baby I forbid you from interfering in my family I know that you are coming after my family but I am warning you, if you continue to come after my family, note that one of us all will fall and die. I said mum look at the pastor you call so that he will pray for me. My mother said pastor what is the problem? The pastor replied to my mother, your son is a witch, make no mistake, I said to my mother, can you imagine? He is branding me a witch, I don't like that. At that moment I smack the pastor in order to upset and offend him. The pastor threatened to curse me saying unless you repent your life is case. I said pastor you have threatened me and challenged me, I will test you and I will see your power. The pastor said if you dare to come after me you will die. I replied to the pastor, I will not die you will die. At that moment Elizabeth called me and said, you got to set up radar around the pastor son who is now in hospital in order to put him under surveillance, there are sound radar and video radar in the spirit world, I know a satanic pastor who has video radar, and when he call you he see what is around you and begin to prophecy with precision thanks to the satanic radar, when I set up the radar around the hospital, I saw the image of the pastor's son in the hospital bed, immediately I left my body and I traveled to the hospital where the body of the pastor's son was. When I arrived there in the hospital room I saw the pastor wife and members of their church in the hospital. While they were there in that hospital room I began to do my installation. At a certain point they began to pray loudly and there was noises. Yet I saw that their prayer was empty and it lacked power. It did not bother me. Quickly I saw the pastor entering the hospital room. And he told them, stop the prayer you must begin spiritual warfare prayer and exercise authority and destroy the work of darkness here. As they began to pray, warfare prayer the pastor came precisely where I was in this room though I was a spirit, and when he began to pray, immediately I disappeared and I landed at home, I did magic prayer, and a dynamic TV appeared, I began to watch as these church members were praying with their pastor, four days later I got a call from Elizabeth, she said we lost the spirit of the pastor's son when I was stuck in the portal. I lost him and he has become a wandering spirit we don't know where he is, we got to find him, you got to get the pastor son to get in coma, for if he wake up we will lose his soul, he has to be in coma so that we can keep him in captivity, the following day I left my body and I traveled to the hospital and I entered a conversation with a leading doctor who was also in the occult though he was a catholic, I explained to him that I needed to kill one of his patient who is a son of a pastor, we need your cooperation. He agreed and said the pastor son is supposed to undergo surgical operation, at that moment Elizabeth called me and said we need to kill the pastor son for he is challenging us. The following day I went to the temple where I was transmitted more like through laying of hand, transmission happened through the laying of hand but if you can see what come out of the hand through transmission you will be stunned. It was during transmission that I saw the spirit of the young the pastor son. I saw that he was sitting above a tombstone but I noticed that his name and details were not yet written on the tombstone for he was not yet dead, Elizabeth said since he is sitting on his tomb he is at the gate of hell you need to finish him, quickly I went physically to the hospital to meet the doctor, I gave him my canal, my frequency and the my password, when I gave him all these details he said are you coming from the kingdom of mistress Elizabeth, I can feel a great power coming from you. I replied to him, I am ruling with power of the sea and the power of the earth. He said ok tonight we will do this operation against the pastor's son, when at one night I left my body and I traveled to hospital and I landed outside the hospital, I signal my presence to the doctor and he told me you need to bewitch the instrument and the whole place. He asked me which shape have you adopted in order to perform this operation, I told you I usually turn to a wolf or a cat. The doctor said to me for this operation you need to transform to a rat and you need to go to the bin in the corner of the street, brother a bin in the public is bad its place of gathering of unclean spirit, I was heading toward the bin and I saw all kind of unclean spirit giving me all kind of sharp instruments so that I can kill the pastor son, for they knew that I was in the middle of an operation, I want to warn you about rat in the house they can be an instrument of the enemy in your place. A rat hiding in the kitchen can cause your food to become tasteless when your husband eats so that there won't be harmony in the house, you need prayer to spare yourself from manipulation, 
when the surgical operation was about to start in the hospital. To my surprise I saw the pastor entering the hospital, and he saw the doctor pushing his son to the surgical room for the operation was about to start. The pastor said to the doctor, I must pray for my son before you start the procedure, but the doctor was categorical, he said to the pastor, no way you can do it now. I think the pastor should have insisted, he should not have considered the doctor word, he should have ignored the doctor, but the pastor just gave up, this attitude was the flesh, the pastor wanted to pray because the spirit of God convinced him to pray, he should have have a way to pray even around the surgical room, the biggest mistake is that the pastor obeyed the voice of the doctor instead of the voice the Holy Spirit was instructing him to pray, for the life giver is God not the doctor. When the doctor entered the surgical room he closed the door, the pastor could have been in prayer during the operation procedure in order to get the Lord to be in control, however the pastor who was advanced in spiritual warfare did not pray during the surgical procedure, when the doctor was about to begin the operation he applied powder on his face and he clapped three times, and when he administered the sedation to the young man I saw the spirit of pastor son that was lost appearing in the room, the doctor told me, get his spirit back inside the body, when I got the spirit of the pastor's son back in his body a god disappeared in the surgical room, I saw that the hand of this goddess was knives, whenever you see the doctor who raised his hand and is dressed with doctor uniform by his assistants understand that he has not raised his hand to allow uniform to fit him, but doctors does this to allow the goddess whose hand are knives to enter in his body. When the doctor raised his hand I saw the goddess coming close to him and the doctor said at your disposal, quickly this goddess enter his body, there are doctor when they perform surgical operation they would not allow people to touch them, they know why, so when the doctor began to perform surgical operation I saw with my physical eyes that he was performing the operation normally, but when I watch with my spiritual eyes I saw that his hand were knives and he was cutting everything in the body of the pastor son, then I saw another hand that collected the flesh of the pastor son, I saw the doctor eating the flesh of the young man, in the meantime the assistant was seeing the doctor performing the operation normally but I was seeing something else in the spirit world, when the operation ended I transmitted this doctor more light as a reward. Later I went back home and felt relief for the young man was dead, it was 7 pm when the news of the death of the young man spread, I saw my sister saying to my mother, mom, the son of the pastor who came pray here have died, my mother went out running to the street to see what happened, when I opened my spiritual eyes I saw mermaid, princess and goddess dancing around my portal for, for they were celebrating the death of the son of this pastor, that had challenged and caused them trouble. This pastor could have prevent the death of his son if only he had prayed during the operation, while these goddess and princess were dancing they were saying you have overcome good servant you won, immediately the angel of Satan Jorgen appeared and congratulated me, and he said your promotion is on the way, you are succeeding in all the mission, but you must be careful because the pastor has not yet received the news of the death of his son, he will react when the news reach him. When the angel of Satan spoke that way he disappeared abruptly without warning me, quickly I noticed that the goddess, princess and mermaid that were dancing around my portal also disappeared, as if something was wrong, and I realized that I lost my communication and power, I tried to enter into contact with the spirit world but there was no contact, I finally went to my office and I began to do magic prayer, when suddenly a massive hand appeared and hit me and I fell to the ground in coma. When I regain my consciousness I came to understand that it was the pastor who learned about the death of his son and reacted in prayer that had scatter all the demon that were celebrating the death of his son, I was wondering what's wrong when suddenly the angel of Satan Jorgen appeared, I only saw his face for he was unable to even enter the place where I was, he said you are in danger for the pastor has learned the news of the death of his son try to find a place where you can keep your body laying safe otherwise this is your end, immediately I went to my friend to find a room to lay down, when I was heading there I was really feeling dizzy but I was able to reach his place and I laid down, I left my body and I was about to go to the temple, then I received the call of Elizabeth, she told me don't go to the temple just come under the ocean, I went down beneath the water and when I arrived in the Atlantic Kingdom, Elizabeth said to me, Abby, 
You gonna spend two days here for if you return to your body now you will be punished and you may die in the hand of this pastor. He has already learned about the death of his son, and he know that we are responsible for his son death. Don't go, I said I have to go, she said why can't you fear me I am not your wife Elizabeth I am the queen, and the mistress of the ocean said. You are confusing me with Elizabeth who is in relationship with you, since you want to go now go. Quickly I came out of the Atlantic and I went to the temple, where I saw our leaders in prayer and I joined them, as we were praying the bell began to ring to signal the arrival of the God of the land, there was thunderclap and reverberation, when he showed us he told me, Abby, since the pastor want to destroy you through prayer you I must get your body to disappear from the surface of the earth for five days, you will return in your body, you will have all power from the land and the sea, Everything will be subjected to you they will serve you, you need to kill three more people and you will be established, when the god of the land disappeared and the angel of Satan appeared. They all pray to remove my body from the room of my friend, and my friend saw my body moving in space and he shouted in fear, quickly I saw a demon appearing and he pointed his hand toward my friend as a result he erased from his memory what he had seen, as if it had never happened. The demon even erased from his mind the fact that I came to his place, I told you that the demon master of time can turn people memory blank as if something never happened, these are spirit of forgetfulness, the demon told me you are now our master you have reached the third degree, after five days of hiding in the temple I showed up in my family who were searching for me, now one could find me, I was informed that the corpse of the pastor son was in the mortuary, I was walking in the street when I saw the pastor son not far from me and he looked at me and smiled, later I went to attend the funeral of the son of the pastor, when I saw the pastor I greeted him but it was a greeting of mockery, because I felt that I won in this challenge, the pastor who was shaken by the death of his son accepted my greeting and said I agreed you have won in this war, you are stronger than me, when the pastor said these words, immediately I got a call from the Atlantic Ocean. Elizabeth said to me this pastor has messed up, because of the word that he has said, we are not stronger than him, but because he said we are stronger than him it shall be so, he has made us superior to him thanks to the word.